Hollywood Live from the Toad Hop Network Studios. In Hollywood, this, this is the ToadHopNetwork.com. A place of our own without a lot of parents bearing down our backs. Radio worth watching. And here we go. Yo, listen up. Here's the story about a little guy that lives in a blue world. Hey, everybody. What's up, Schmoville? It is the Schmo's No Movies Podcast. And why is that music playing? Because it is a very special edition of the Schmo's No Movies show. Not only do we have a ton of movie stories that we're going to talk about in a short moment here. A lot and I'm Mark Ellis. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, were we not doing that yet? Oh. Well, wait a minute. I came I in the wrong time. That's my fault. Gonna, that's my fault. I was going to give you something, and you just threw it right away. All right. Well, well that's, that's fine. Christian Harloff here, my co-host. <laughs> the not preoccupied with a football game at all. Mark that's Ellis That's another here. reason. I was trying to give you a little more time with your Redskins. Oh, you're such a nice, nice guy. guy. And joined, as always, our lovely co-host Tiffany Smith. Co -host. Well, you really actually did say my yeah, name after that. I was waiting for him to be like, Ken Napson. But you got to let me plug you okay, from go. DC All Access. <laughs> Thank How you. are you? What? I'm good. And the reason I bring up <laughs> DC All Access is because it's very comic related, comic book related. Yep. There's some scoop related. Yeah, Blockbuster Video may be closed, on. but schmoesno.com wide open for business, ladies and gentlemen. That yes. sounded dirty. We are going to okay. be talking about a lot of news stories and a lot of news stories that we broke on our site. I know there's a lot of stuff that we're going to talk about that you guys read on our website, read on other websites. <laughs> there's, actually, there's actually news about the news that we broke, That's and right. we'll talk about that We'll talk news. about that. We're going wow. to have our good buddy El Mayambe calling in to talk about his scoop that he broke around 820, and we'll talk about some other things there. But from 830 to 930, very excited because we're going to be talking about comic book movie superhero movies of 2013 what we thought were our favorites we'll have our favorite Ew. moments we're gonna get into a whole bunch of Ken uh, just made a really inappropriate face at me it Ken really does whatever you Ken has back in your to pants. do because Ken's about to deliver the news and so however yeah. he needs to prep to me, you, you let I'm him prep. sorry I looked over yeah, I and I got from. super wow. uncomfortable oh my stop God. doing that wow stop. oh no as you get older you when when you wink it gets creepier and creepier yeah. what are you doing you sweat like JTI at a job interview what are you doing alright so let's Let's uh, let's get. JTI, don't wear the backwards hat at one job interview, please. Take it off please, for the interview, please. Um, he took oh. it off last week for Halloween. Remember, Great. he was Doug. <laughs> All right. You know, the one time Christian tries to give us all nice intros and really? just make it a professional show, Tiffany Smith has to come in and ruin it. All right. All right. Okay. So let's <laughs> let, let, let's get back on track here, gentlemen. The whole world's watching. Hey, Johnny, uh, when does the show start? <laughs> all right. Good. Yeah, Kathy yeah, Kelly will be joining us. Oh, okay. What's up, Tiffany? Uh, all right. Let's get into this stuff, too. We're going to be talking about the news. We have a whole lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. Johnny. I'm Ken Hapsack, and these are your Schmozno headlines, brought to you by Magic Hat Brewing Company and Schmozno.com, your source for news scoops that make others Woo! jealous. Do you have a notepad? You might want to write all this down to help keep track. A lot of news bites that we at Schmozno have claimed as our own, thanks to our super secret, deeply embedded source known only as The Phantom. I'm nearly 40, and I just said those words. <laughs> it's not me. First up, all signs point to Wonder Woman making some sort of appearance in the forthcoming Batman vs. Superman film. This after rumors flow around the nerd sphere that Jamie Alexander, best known in the Thor films as Hot Chick with Sword, confirmed that she has had, quote, conversations with DC folks about being Wonder Woman. But before the story could take off, we at Schmoes know, let it be known that Ukrainian-born Olga Kurleko, mostly known as the only Bond girl to never have rolled in the hay with 007 and Quantum of Solace, has been screen tested for the role of Wonder Woman. Whether or not Olga actually gets the part is not the meat of the story. The main point is that Warner Brothers seems to be content on stuffing every character they have the rights to into this film in the hopes that it leads to the Justice League getting a go picture. Which explains why character breakdowns for the following roles are being listed on Actors Access. Blackhawk, Dove, The Metal Man, Blue Beetle, Psycho Pirate, and Shazam. <laughs> If you want to audition, just ask your Starbucks manager for the morning off. The fifth Terminator <laughs> film promises to bend over the space-time continuum like a horny hippie having sex in the forest on HBO's Real Sex with its time-traveling Great Scott Marty prequel out a sequel plot. And now comes word from our source that some leading candidates for the roles of John Connor and his mama have emerged. Boyd Holbrook and Garrett Hedlund are being eyed for the role of John Connor. According to IMDb, they both have appeared in movies. <laughs> hmm. 
For the role of Sarah Connor, the producers are looking at Margot Robbie, Brie Larson, and Amelia Clark, known worldwide as the mother of horse lord sex from Game of Thrones. <laughs> for those keeping track at home, so far Terminator 5 is supposed to be set in the 50s or the 80s. Star The Rock, Star Arnie, include Linda Hamilton, Michael Bean, but not Christian Bale, Claire Danes, or the tall chick from that one Terminator movie no one remembers. When someone is finally officially cast, we'll let Variety post the story first for once. <laughs> the movie Dan Aykroyd won't let die. Ghostbusters 3 appears to have some new life. This after our schmoes no.com source boldly claimed that Jonah Hill and Emma Stone have been offered roles for the film. The characters are supposedly named Jeremy and Anna, which sounds like that annoying couple you have to buy underwhelming wedding gifts for at Bed Bath and your life is now a prison. <laughs> it should be noted that G Sony Pictures has yet to greenlight the project and that Bill Murray still wants nothing to do with it because he and Harold Ramis still don't get along. It should also be noted that Jonah Hill once received an Oscar nomination because someone at the Academy mistakenly thought the envelope was for the Kids' Choice Awards. <laughs> The news of Josh, Josh Brolin being involved with Jurassic World can remain in the rumor mill. Sources close to Schwoz know, which is probably just Christian Harloff digging through studio trash cans, <laughs> claim that the deal to put Brolin in the fourth dino pick has gone awry, but Screen Rant is among those reporting that Jason Schwartzman is on the radar for a possible role in the film. No word on whether Wes Anderson says that's okay. A lot of casting rumors have been swirling around this movie, but so far the only confirmed castings are of Bryce Dallas Howard, Ty Simpkins, and a goat. <laughs> Do you like the most recent installment of the Wolverine franchise? No, who cares? Another one is coming. Director James Mangold is reportedly in talks to start up another chapter in the wacky life and times of your favorite alcoholic X-Men. Hugh Jackman would be back in the role despite being three feet taller than the character is supposed to be. Wolverine, though not a smash in America, was a sleeper hit, taking in over $400 million when you factor in the worldwide box office. But keep in mind, those are the same people that like soccer. And speaking of overseas money, Thor, The Dark World, took in $109 million following its release in 36 foreign Ooh. territories. This pushes Disney's international box office take for the year to over the $2.3 billion mark, which is roughly the same amount of security cameras Disney theme parks use to watch you pee. <laughs> Recent reports of an Army of Darkness 2 film moving forward have been debunked by none other than Ash himself, Bruce Campbell. While speaking with Schmoville friend Aaron Darling at this past weekend's Kamikaze, Campbell said the movie is absolutely not happening, calling the stories internet BS. He also wanted to say that the internet is so prey to misinformation and encouraged people to get the quote, real information. And with that, internet dating died. <laughs> and finally, speaking of cold hard facts, more Star Wars Episode 7 news. Casting details have been leaked, allegedly. According to Bleeding Cool, an open casting call has been set up by Disney in the United Kingdom. This, quote, nationwide search for lead roles in a Disney film has them looking for a 17-year-old female described as a street smart and strong girl and a male, 19 to 23, who must be handsome, smart, and athletic. So if you had Clint Howard in the Star Wars casting pool, pay up. <laughs> The casting sheet does not say what movie this is for, and in, and in fact uses the very non-Star Wars character names of Rachel and Thomas. But clearly, that's a cover-up for whatever weird names George Lucas has given his most recent dogs. <laughs> if you want to audition for these roles, just have your mom drop you off at the bus station. But don't be surprised if she's there to uh, lock the basement door by the time you get back. Star Wars Episode 7 will be released, as we now know of as of today, on December 18th, 2015. The line forms tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm Ken Absolut. Uh, for those of your Schmoes No headlines, brought to you by Magic Hat Kenny. and SchmoesNo.com. All right. Kenny Absolut with the news, always destroying at least one half of the studio. That'd be the half that me and Josh McCougar represent. And he got some laughs on the other side of the Roger, too. Uh, I want to talk about this Star Wars thing Let's right off the bat. The fact that we know Clint Howard won't be in it, that's <laughs> shocking. Uh, I also want to talk about the fact that we now have a release date mm -hmm. for December 18th, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be Christmas time. It's going to be snowing. Everybody's going to be going to the movies that weekend. Then the next weekend, everybody's family's in town. However, is the movie going to be finished in time? <laughs> like that, because there was what we talked about last week was that they maybe wanted to push it back to the summer of 2016. And Disney's like, eh, we're going to need you done by Christmas. So it's kind of like Scrooge making them work on Christmas. How do you kids feel about it, Tiffany? What say you, December 18th, 2015? I don't think that they would put out a solid. There was already enough turmoil back and forth of what the date was going to be that I feel like now that they've set a solid date, it means that they actually have something that they're happy with. I'm not worried. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm not. Christian, you got that look on your face. I, I'm not worried either. I'm with Tiffany on this one. I think that uh, I, I think what they said, and, Tiff, and um, J.J. Abrams 
also came out with and said that the reason why he's very, very uh, fond of Mike Lauren. Said that he's, yeah. he's great. There was an article that came out and he said that. But at this time, the way they want to get it out towards the end here. They mm-hmm. That he wanted to bring in Kazan, and, and you're ready. Kazan has added such a flair because he knows Star Wars so well. Mm-hmm. And it could be a little bit of like, don't worry, guys. Everything's okay. Maybe, you know, he's still, he's a pro. He's going to get it done. It'll be done in December, and we're going to have a Star Wars movie. That's all we need. He's just that, like, old <laughs> offensive coordinator you bring in, and you're like, hey, can you just look at these plays and tell us what's really going to pop? Right. And that hopefully that's what Kazan does. So yeah. I'm excited. Okay. So, guys, as, we do, as we're doing these stories, make sure you tweet in at schmoesno. Um, and also facebook.com slash schmoesno. Tell us which stories you're most interested in and what you think about them. The other one is the one that we reported on, this whole Wonder Woman thing. Now, not only is the fact that, like, we, Olga Karolanko, we heard mm-hmm. that she had tested for the role, okay? Mm-hmm. I personally don't think she's right for it. Um, and then there's also rumors going around that maybe she didn't just read for that, that she also read for Bruce Wayne's girlfriend. I happen to think that would be a better fit for her. But... The main story and what Riley wrote in his article when he posted this was the fact that what it does is they're going to put Wonder Woman in it. That, that scares me a little bit, too. It's just like they don't have enough confidence in Man of Steel 2 that they're now just – it's Justice League. This movie's Justice League. Well, here's the thing, though. If you saw Man of Steel and you're like, you know what? We might need somebody more than Superman. I know Batman. And if Batman and Superman in one movie still aren't enough, then that's a problem with the movie. You know, that's not – that Wonder Woman can't put on a costume and save that. Yeah, well, Tiffany. They haven't what do you think? said yet that it is Wonder Woman that these girls are up. Like it's a role that sounds like no. exotic. The, from what the Phantom said, it was Wonder Woman. It said exotic, tough no. girl. What, it has not said Wonder Woman. Wonder from Woman is what? exotic like, and tough. But from here's the what? thing: is I'm that telling like, you right now from the, our source, the Phantom it said Wonder Woman. I'm telling you right it's now. It's a seashell that we put up to our ears, and it tells us Hollywood yeah. secrets, I'm, Tiffany. I'm hoping that it's not Wonder Woman. Me too. So, Riley, the, Riley, real quick, what do you well, got? Well, the, the fallout from that news and what I've been hearing is that it's going to be Diana, mm-hmm. but that she might not suit Diana up Diana Prince, Wonder who is Wonder Woman. Well, right, right, that's still Wonder Woman. But okay. that's still Wonder Woman. Not in that's that movie. Yeah, yeah, she might so, just be planted. So she's going to be planted, and then the, the, they keep doing the rumors that they're going to plant the Flash. Yeah. I'll Arrow tell you this. And all this. That Olga but chick, he, hottest girl on the face of the planet, currently owning the name Olga. I guarantee <laughs> that. There's nobody else that looks that good named Here's Olga. Here's the other thing, though, is if, if anybody is watching Arrow... Which I think a lot of people are. They do such a good job on that show of planting a lot of different characters and it working really well and it's, having it be cameos. And you're like, holy crap, this just happened. Holy crap, this just happened. So I'm kind of hoping that if that's the route that they're going with man, the second Man of Steel, absolutely. then it could really work. And Arrow's a fine show, and I think it's adorable what the CW's doing. But this is a huge Superman movie, and they need to put somebody else in the Superman Batman movie. Come on, make Olga eye candy, nothing more. Let's go to Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters three. This thing just depresses the hell out of me and kind of excites me a little bit at the same time. It's like a 90-10 thing because Bill Murray's not involved. And Bill Murray, to me, is Ghostbusters. Yeah. See, I love Dan Aykroyd in Ghostbusters. I love Harold Ramis. I love Ernie Hutz. I love all those guys. But it's just like, it, without Bill Murray in there or somebody of Bill Murray's caliber, and there's nobody of Bill Murray's caliber that has ever lived, in my opinion. So I don't know. I think Jonah Hill is funny. I think he's a really good actor, too. I just don't see anybody that could step into Bill Murray's shoes. It would be a bigger disaster than when they did Blues Brothers 2000. And they're like, hey, who can we do? to be, who's, who's, our, who's our John Belushi? I know, John Goodman. He's great. He ain't John Belushi. Yeah. Christian, what do you got? Uh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of the, the fact that Jonah Hill is even in contention for this thing because it turns into a very different movie, different tone, very silly uh, in a way that I don't like his comedies. I like Jonah Hill sometimes. He plays the same character over and over again. What I would like to see, I, there was a great tweet. I can't remember who tweeted it out today. Someone mentioned and it probably would be very tough because the, the insurance would be out of control, but like Artie Lang and people of that nature. Someone, So it's like just more people that are like, I don't know, just more of that really, that, that, that disturbing like down in their down in their luck, Ghostbusters, like that type of thing. I don't want someone who like Jonah Hill right now. Who's here's, it's Jonah Hill. Here's, here's the thing, though, is that if you're doing <laughs> Ghostbusters three without Bill Murray, you probably need to take that in a different direction anyway. Like I think it's I think it's a bigger sin to do Ghostbusters three and try to replace Bill Murray. Mm-hmm. Then it's like Moneyball. It's like we can't replace these guys. So let's just get guys that do other things well. Right. I think that's what Ghostbusters three is going for. 
Okay, so um, moving on. How about this Terminator news? How about that? Who now, broke that on the website? Now, yeah. Finally, Does someone know? someone came out of retirement, and decided here? to use the computer, and that would be one Mark Ellis. Thank you. Uh, You're welcome, Mark, world. Why don't you tell tell us a little bit about your about your story? You that can you use broke. a computer. Dude, I was so it hammered does. when I wrote it's that like story. Random. I had no idea what I typed, <laughs> yeah. and apparently it, the internet got wind of it. It's uh, casting, casting. It's the casting stuff, and look, they're casting Sarah Connor and John Connor. The funny thing is, is that all these people that are rumored for it are kind of in their twenties, yeah. and so you're like, wait a minute. I know a little bit about biology. I know a mom and a son can't be within 10 years of each other's age. <laughs> right. So it sounds like John Connor is going to go from the apocalypse back to pick up his mom in the 80s. And Everybody then likes to time travel. Are going right. to go back to the 1950s to finally uh, beat up Biff and then go to the Enchantment Under the Sea <laughs> that's dance. The, that's the wrong franchise. That's, oh, that's that's see? Franchise. You see how confusing that yes, gets? Yes, it is. Um, yeah, I, look, look, Terminator Terminator 5, Thank you. They, they are really, they need something to put this franchise back together because the last two I felt have just not been great. Uh, they had potential with the third one. I thought the fourth one Mucci was just uh, the, a bad choice. Each one had some bumps to it and then it just yeah. kind of died on the table. Yeah and so I think that they, they got to go back to Rated R as well. They got to go back to what this franchise was but they, it, you're right Mark. They can't get convoluted in the time thing. You got to have a clear cut story make mm -hmm. it like mm -hmm. the first one was as simple as it gets Yeah, and that's what you have to do. You got to go back to that. I would see. I would like to see a lower budget looking film. Um, I, you know, But do you want to reboot? Because you love no, no, the no. first Terminator no, I don't so want to reboot. much. I don't yeah. want to reboot. I want a continuation of the story, but I want them to put it back together and not get too confusing. Tiffany. I just always think it's weird when you, like, to have a mother and a son near the same age just gets uncomfortable. Because yeah, you know they're hot. both going to be pretty people. Like, they're not going to cast unattractive people. And then there's constantly going to be those awkward moments of, like, wait, are they... Are, they're right. not flirting with each other, right? right. Like, that was what's so great about the first one, though, is because like like Michael Bean, good looking enough, uh, and Sarah, Sarah good Connor, looking enough. He's yeah, a handsome man. Sarah Connor's hair was ridiculous. She had eighties mole hair. lion's mane. <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. It was funny. She looked like the lead singer of White Snake. Yeah, she's not the most attractive woman in the world, but it worked. Yeah, I she's thought it hot. worked. If uh, you're, you're going to cast a hot a actor, look, I mean, she's not like Megan Fox hot, but she's but an attractive but, woman. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like you don't need that yeah. Megan Fox type. That works. She's not an ugly man. One that Kenny listed, all those names that Ken said that he stole from my story are very attractive right. people, but that's going to make sense because if you have a hot mom, the son's probably going to be good looking. Like, my mom's hot. Look at me. But that's awkward. What? Like, what I just said, or the hot mom, the hot, hot mom, son? Hot son. Let's just, in, oh my God. That are like close in age. Yeah. Weird. I, I think it's, it's gonna, sexy. It's I'd weird. like to see them lay with each other. And then you, you talk about you talk about the apocalypse. Now we're going Game of Thrones style. <laughs> it's just weird or Oedipus complex kind of stuff. All right. Well, Somebody that's definitely not going to be in a movie coming up is Josh Brolin. He's uh, yeah. he's he's out of Jurassic Park four. <laughs> he's off the island. He's yeah, done. And what's funny about that is that you know the day before they, the the sites picked it up that he was going to do it, we the had, sites. You mean you? No, 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 no. We yeah. we had mentioned it. We had mentioned it before <laughs> the site. We didn't break. We didn't break that story. But you, you wrote about we it. On talked about it. We, so talk, we talked. We talked about it the night beforehand. The first mm -hmm. the first story. Yeah. When they said he was going to be in it, yeah. we talked about it on the podcast, and then people picked it up and posted that he was going to be in it. We're like, oh, okay, so we missed out on that one. But this apparently just fell through. You know, things sometimes you know whatever the Did deal he, may am be. Am I making up that he just got in like a rando? drunk fight at a bar like recently maybe like every other month okay. it happens. i can yeah. see josh brolin doing that i can see diane lane being like a little too cutesy at home and he's like i just need to go fight somebody t smaller than me right <laughs> uh all right so finally now the final story that we're going to talk about tonight <laughs> get the name right what's Cause yesterday christian's like hey you hear about this oh, darkling wait, thing wait you want to you want to talk <laughs> oh, about God. names come yeah. here for a second before i get into this story come here who are we, who are we JTL? I, I want to talk about JTL. What's talk, up, cops? We were talking. We were talking. Yeah, about, our intern showed up. Yeah, we were talking about Thor. We were talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. We were talking about Thor, and then we mentioned there's some like a He-Man movie or something oh, to boy. it. Ken made a He-Man joke, and so then JTI made a comment about He-Man, and what did you say? It says the one starring Dolph Lundgren. Dolph who? Who? Dolph Lundgren. Dolph who? Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren. Is that right? Get out of here! This guy is the worst with names. It's so funny. With what is just, I feel like like Dolph Lundgren. If you just mumbled it though, you might think that he said it. But right. I made him say it four times. Dolph Lundgren. Lundgren. And he and, and he called John. We had <laughs> John. There's a G Lundgren. in there. Wait, wait. There's but, a G. And, wait, use Ken's mic also. What? It, what? It, John Lejoie was on this. Like. Was on this show. What did you call John Lejoie? John Leo. That's close. Oh. John Leo. John Leo. Oh. I love his pronunciations. 
Oh, man. Uh, you know I loved his uh, machete and that Danny Trejo. That guy's really Danny good. Danny Trejo is good, Mark Elias. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have him do Chiwetel Ejiofor. <laughs> oh, oh, he said it. Oh, well, you, should, you just said it. You just said it. No, it was like you did. You, you just had said to be it. Like now he's going to get it. Chiwetel yeah. Oh, so good. Dolph Lundgren will never be on this oh, show. Oh, stop. Uh, Can we, put some, we get a Kickstarter going for a Rosetta Stone for JTI over yeah. there? All right. The other thing, not Darkwing Duck. He's not going to be in the new. But again, this is another. This is a story that El Mayambe, who's going to be calling in uh, very soon, and we are going to talk to him about the fact that he says that he has he's caught wind that he's Night, caught wind about a wing. Night, yeah, Nightwing is going to be in this movie. <sighs> now, more the, 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 the more lineage, people. This is Spider-Man three all over again. Yeah, the, the lineage of Nightwing is very interesting too. Yeah. because Nightwing, as Tiffany Smith will tell you, he started out as one <laughs> character, right? You're the comic book chick. I'm just laughing because you're like, as Tiffany Smith will tell you, go, go. Continue. I know a little bit about Nightwing too. All right, he started out as a duck, and uh -huh. then he and then he turned into a uh, Robin, right? And then uh -huh. Robin, Ro Robin turns into Nightwing. Is that correct? Robin, Robin from Batman, and Robin There's fame turns into Nightwing. Or he gets pissed off and breaks his back, and then he comes back as Nightwing. Or he knows a friend, that, and that guy turns into Nightwing. You're doing a really amazing job of describing this. It's I mean, I think, terrible. That, I think that there's... She didn't even acknowledge because of, No, I'm just ignoring it. Trying. Because of the end of what happened at if, for the Batman films, right. everyone's kind of anticipating that Joseph we're going to get... Yeah, yeah. We're going to get Nightwing, Robin. See, there's I was so right. much stuff yeah. going on in the comic book, and you know this too, with yeah. like Son of... Batman, Damien, all that stuff. There's a lot of characters that I think people who don't read comics don't really. Batman has a kid named Damien? There's one thing you don't <laughs> name your kid. It's Damien, you right. idiot. Jesus. But again, I think that there's the I think that there, there's a lot of stuff going on. And we were talking about this before. I just feel like there's so many things coming out at this point that they could be auditioning for anything. Like it could be for a web series. It could be for Netflix. It could be yeah. for whatever Maybe it is. Maybe for you his know? daughter named Carrie. Now, that music means one thing and one thing alone. Now, we had a pretty good day yesterday with our scoops, but as always, the man with the plan, the scoop master. Super spy. Super spy of Schmoville and of Latino Review. He joins us right now. Please welcome Elbe Imbe. What's up, man? How you doing? What's popping, cool kids? How you doing? Hello. Good. Nice to have you back in Schmoville, my friend. It's been too long. Been a hot minute, yes, absolutely. How you doing? Well, what a, what a great way to get you back on the show because uh, were you in a wind tunnel? Are you being attacked by Nightwing at the moment? <laughs> Are you in the back cave? Yeah, is, is somebody in Gotham stealing your wallet as we speak? That <laughs> 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 uh, did not go over well. That did not go well. Evil right. villain laugh. That's right. Evil villain laugh. From that was Elmi a pity laugh. Is is what that great. was. All right. So that was I can't hear you. I'm in a tunnel laugh. That's what I believe. Now we had a pretty good day yesterday. Um, the schmoes. On yes, the, site. the schmoes on our site. And then before I'm going to talk to you about kind of you know because you've been doing this for a little bit and you have been around and you kind of know how this works and there's a couple of things that happened yesterday that you and I actually spoke about on the phone today that we will get to in just a minute but before we do that I want to know a little bit about your scoop on Nightwing can you for our for our fans who are who are not familiar with Nightwing or what's going on with Nightwing or maybe have not read your scoop can you can you fill us in basically uh, I got a hot tip uh, about a few weeks back that, and he's from a very reliable source, that uh, Dick Grayson would be in the movie. Not as Robin, but as, you know, Nightwing, he's off doing his own thing. You know, so usually with, with a scoop, you get from a source, you vet it out. So like, Marvel is not, not even a challenge these days. I think casting-wise, I'll get it, I'll get it confirmed within a couple of minutes, and then we drop. But uh, DC is different now, you know, that... They learned obviously very well from working with Nolan the last mm -hmm. couple of years in the Batman movies that uh, secrecy is king. So if I find something out, whether it's true or not, it's hard to vet or find out because I'm going to say, did you hear this? Did you hear that? Like, I don't know. It's gotten so bad on uh, on this movie that people are asking me about what's going on. I said, dude, you're supposed to be the source. I should be asking you. What the hell? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, well, it's gotten you, that. Well, it's gotten that tough. So, now, like, but look, I'll so give you an example. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Like something like Rocket Raccoon that I've been chasing since February, right. really hard to flip. It'll take months. So, you know, but I'll I'll know 
you know, get a time frame of when something is about to drop or some I hear some noise or get some tip and then I go on the scavenger hunt. But with, Mar- with this, with the DC thing, I was hitting one brick wall after another. Even right. sources it's like it, it's very. The NSA would be impressed with the secrecy that they have around the project right now. Wow. It's just well, maybe well, a half a dozen people on one hand know what's going on with that movies. But all right, so uh, little, but let me ask you a question though, because there's a lot of stuff now that's coming out with you know you're you're saying the Nightwing could be in it. We we're hearing that Wonder Woman could be in this thing, and now that and with Batman in it, it I mean this isn't a Man of Steel sequel anymore. It's not. It's this is this is a whole different movie, right? Uh, technically, yeah, I think it's. It's technically a bootleg Justice League movie, you know, at this mm-hmm. point, with everybody they're trying to drop in there. Right. They're, but they, again, they're, 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 that's exactly right. They got they got their Justice League movie without saying it's Justice League. It's not Man of Steel. It's people with the guy from Steel. But again, yeah. we also don't know what's actually going to happen when the film comes out. Right. Like, but, but even if you have, even if, even if Wonder Woman's in this movie for literally two minutes, and then you have uh, Nightwing in it for, for five minutes, but if you're you still looking, have all these characters. I mean, if you're it looking at it, and they've seeds. already talked about too the fact that it's a, like in the future and Batman's older, then it makes sense that Nightwing would be around because he's younger he's and around. finds yeah, out who yeah. he is, no, and get that's it. he gets I, taken under his wing. So there's, it makes sense that there would be these younger characters yeah, it around. Just scares me. Here's what I would want to know: I don't care how many superhero to bees are in the sequel. I want to know how many costumes yeah. are yeah. we going to be looking at with people running around in tights because that's going to determine what kind of movie. It is. That's right. Um, I'll be honest. I think tights. we're only seeing two. You, who do you think we're going to see? Batman and Superman. Just Batman and uh, Superman. Batman is, you know, for my ears, going to be very. It's going to be. It's a little bit of Kingdom Come with uh, meets the Dark Knight Rises. You know, he hasn't been seen in a minute or whatnot. He right. patrols the city with drones. You know, so it's going to be interesting. Here, yeah, yeah. So he's like what? He's Batman in his early forties. You know, he's grouch as he always been, and mm-hmm. uh, I guess the alien throws him out. Well, the person that know? the person that's most excited by all this uh, Man of Steel news is J.J. Abrams. Everybody's leaving him alone for the time being. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> Jesus in, Christ, in, yeah. until you drop your next scoop on Star Wars, which I'm sure is coming soon. But before before I talk about any Star Wars or anything too, what I wanted to talk to you about was, and this is something you and I talked about too. This is, and I'd, I'd love for you to. Get your thoughts on this after I uh, let everybody know. So we we had put we had put a couple stories out there yesterday, um, a couple scoops, and we are f- very aware that we're the new kids on the block. We understand that. We are first and foremost movie fans, and and I understand this is what this business is. It's the internet. You're gonna get haters. It just happens, especially when you're new, especially when you're a rookie. Gonna, you might get bullied a it, little bit. It's gonna happen, and it's gonna happen on from comments and and look. There's that we are on we, the comic book movie uh, puts our stuff up there, mm. uh, our podcast up there, and their fans are. There's a lot of fans that are great. There are a lot of fans that are douches. We we accept that. <laughs> now, what I don't understand is that. Now there are people there. Look, they're, and these are there are some websites like editors and chiefs that are taking cracks at us, not even knowing who we are. And look, I, there are certain sites here that I love, and there are certain people that are on the good side, and certain people that are not. For example, there's a guy on the rap that writes that I really enjoy. I like him, and I'm invited him to be on this podcast, and he's going to do it. Yeah. Then there was another guy on the rap that just had never heard from the guy before, and he writes, "Schmoes don't." No, no, like a thirteen-year-old, right? And it's like, what? Just, it's, 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 it's Sorry, like, it's wait, schmoes don't that's know, no. That, that's not funny. It's dopey. I've heard it. I've heard it so many times on, like, literally, fourteen-year-olds on YouTube have written that, and it's like, okay, can, that that's clever. You know, the first person to make that joke, me, when right. Christian brought up the name, I'm right. like, wait, but people might say schmoes don't, don't know. know. Yeah. No, no one would ever do that. Right, and then so so then that, that's that's one thing, and it's like, okay, so <laughs> that that's just silliness. And then there's a guy on the uh, what, what's what's collider the on collider. And he called both you and and us out, and it's like how I don't understand like what the point is of saying that we're not movie like that we're, that we're just doing it to get hits and stuff like that. And then it, plus the fact this is right before Variety confirmed our story, but <laughs> it's it's the fact that like don't why why that don't, was awesome yeah why, <laughs> right why don't people why don't people like you know maybe just, I guess some people do 
but do they tune in and and, and I mean like excuse me like write you an email and say look just wanted to kind of figure out because I did get a couple emails from good, like IGN is great there's a couple people at IGN that sent me a couple emails asking us about our source how legit is the source same thing uh, from Forbes somebody you know and it's like and those are the proper channels to go through yeah, as opposed they're to just asking don't just calling talk somebody shit, out publicly you know like I get it if it's the first time they if they never heard of us maybe that's how they try to weed out the people that are just I bullshit guess. I mean I have we have pretty thick skin it's not like we're going home and like really stewing about this but it's an interesting kind of thing because that is the business apparently right. so so what what say you on this uh El hmm. when I started out man everything you could think that could be fed at me from racial discrimination to personal hygiene anything you could think of has been tossed my way you know so it's like it just comes with the territory right. who, who is this guy where's he coming out from why is he using this name who does he think he is you know there's a, there's a lot of territoriality right mm -hmm. like like you can't play on our playground exactly oh absolutely yeah you can't there's a lot of yeah it took like the trades for in like years like half a dozen years or so ago when the sites really started coming into their own they uh they uh they weren't giving credit where credit's due but the the culture's changed now, you know? So, like, look, you guys are the new kids on the block. You know how long? It took me years to get my first couple of scoops, you know, with some loves in the trades. It was almost impossible. You guys, you got to count your blessings because you, I know you dropped two things that got credit in the trades, and you, you're not even doing this a month yet or so. So back in the days, it was a lot more difficult. So I pioneered it for you guys so you could get your, your, your you know, your, you your love in the trades. No, you so, did. So. You, you helped us out very He was like the much. new kids on the block to our Backstreet Boys. Yeah, no, you, you listen, dude. You you ha you have helped us tremendously, wow. and uh, and I and, and I thank you very much for that. You you have given us scoops that have been covered for this podcast, and we continue to want you on the show and to hear more of your scoops. You're kicking ass out there, both uh, again with with what you're doing here and in life. And so, uh, thank you so much, and we look forward to having yeah, you on no the show problem. soon. All right, you gotta be careful. Yeah, you're not gonna please everybody. That it comes with the territory, right. you know. Uh, like I don't the most ruthless commenters and forum because I thought there were any cool news. No way. Comic book movie takes the cake, but after a, you know after the Marvel tear I've been on it, the tides turn around. Like, you want to do scoops, you gotta don't read forums. Yeah, you know, it's really hard what, not to. But forums, no, but, for, but that's the thing though too. And I don't, I know we gotta go, but I, I don't. It's not forums that get me. Forums I get. That's gonna happen. It's nature of the beast. It's people who are, who are our peers that are doing this professionally, like not doing you know the proper way to find out who who people are before they call them out that's i wouldn't do that and i don't know if anybody I, else should there's a there's a phrase in hip-hop we got for that it's called player hating that's exactly all, it is. all right el mambia you're the best uh we look forward to having you back on the show soon check him out on latinoreview.com and you want to get some good scoops you check this man out and follow him out on uh twitter el mambia all Thanks. right guys thank you so much <laughs> It's a long care, way to Bye. the Bye. top. Be safe in the back cave. If you want right. rock and roll. So excited. When we come back, Tiffany, myself, and Mark are going to be talking about superhero movies. 2013, all the ones we love, some great moments from those. Yeah. Going to hear from the fans. Everything. So check out at Schmoes No. Tell us some of your favorite superhero movies from 2013. Schmoes No Movies. Be back in a sec. Listening to the Toad Hop Network, radio worth watching. What's up, Toad Heads? Hey, make sure you check out the Toad Hop store on ToadHopNetwork.com. It's a great way to support the network and helps continue to bring you quality programming. Quality programming, my ass. Can you see I'm recording you? Oh! So maybe you've got a great idea for a business and want to start selling your products or services online. Maybe you're an established business owner looking for new customers. Or maybe you're interested in starting a personal website. No matter who you are, GoDaddy wants to help you kick ass online. Right now, GoDaddy is offering .com domains for just $1.99. It's go time. Start your website today. Visit GoDaddy.com and enter promo code TOAD to get your $1.99.com or click on the GoDaddy graphic on the Toad Hop website. Some limitations apply. See website for details.
To leave your house to shop? To crawl through traffic to the mall? Just to find the thing you wanted? Isn't even there at all? Amazon.com is the answer. Shop at home and style and ease. Find exactly what you want. Ordering your stuff's a breeze. Books on tape. Games galore. Everything you're looking for. Kindle. Cameras. Electronics. Baby Einstein. Hooked on phonics. Blu-ray. Movies. And TV. Download. Music. MP3. Pixar. Disney. Microphones. Pet supplies and doggy bones. World of Warcraft. Nancy Drew. Sims. The Scruff. Sishtim too. Click Amazon. You'll smile with glee. Sometimes shipping's even free. What's up everyone? Sports Guru here. Sick of looking at the same old boring websites? Well check out thenewsportsguru.com for all the hottest training videos and all the biggest sports news. Become a VIP for only $4.99 and get premium access to everything the Sports Guru has to offer. The beautiful Gurus Girls, all my biggest sports picks, and much more. So get off that porn site and check out thenewsportsguru.com. Is that hunk of junk you call a car always breaking down and leaving you in the dust? Log on to Dyson-Motors.com and check out Dyson's full inventory online. With hundreds of quality cars in stock of all makes and models, you can find the next car of your dreams in minutes. And know you're getting super low pricing. Purchase a car today from Dyson Motors and receive a year of free oil changes. Bad credit? Worried about financing? Log on and get pre-approved in seconds. Go to Dyson-Motors.com and find your new car today. With Gamefly, choose from over 6,000 titles. Play as long as you want and send them back when you're done. Eight ninety-five to start? No late fees. Gamefly.com. Games delivered. You're listening to the Toad Hop Network. Radio worth watching. That is the sound of another epic Schmozno podcast. We did a lot of news stories in the first half hour. We did some scoop talk with Elmi Imbe. We did some muckraking. We did a little bit of everything. And now uh-huh. it is time to dole out our superhero awards for 2013, our favorite and our least <laughs> favorite things that happened in superhero flicks this past year. But before we get to that, Christian, let's talk about the shirt t- company that we love that neither one of us are currently representing. Oh, the copster is our intern copster. There you go. Ripped <laughs> apparel. Oh, scoundrel oh, dogs. Yeah, nice. So yeah. Scoundrel dogs on there. All right, so Ripped Apparel, Mark, tell me what it's all about. Ripped Apparel, ladies and gentlemen. It's a new t-shirt every 24 hours. They have really cool designs. They combine movies. They combine video games, all kinds of stuff. You can never get again after it's gone. It's there for that day. It's gone for the rest of your life. So the best part about it is it's only $10. Even better than that is if you use our code, it's only $9. You get a dollar off if you type in SK Dark World for the rest of November. No, they do not have black button-down shirts Yet it's really awesome. God, they have headphones good. now, which is pretty awesome. That's awesome. We're gonna yeah. get those soon. We just get, we, we you can pick a design, mm-hmm. turn them into headphones. It's really awesome. iPhone Can't covers everything. Yeah. All right. And guys, now so yeah, we're gonna be talking about superhero movies and what better way? Mm-hmm. Like we mentioned before, comicbookmovie.com sponsors the show, posts our podcast all the time, and for this remaining hour, we're not for this remaining, for this next hour, we're going to have Comic Movie, we'll be sponsoring this segment. So, let's get to it. The way we're going to work this is we are going to tell you guys, there are five superhero movies this year. There are five big ones. Now, look, there's other movies like like, like, uh, what? like Two Guns and That's like Fast and Furious. That's superheroes. what I was going yeah, to right, say, Christian. Right. I'm not throwing them in all the right. pile. We're, we're yeah. only doing superhero, then, superhero. not comic yeah. book movies. Because, no, no, superhero because, yeah. movies. somebody on the panel, that, all four. I, I won't name who, but yeah. they're wearing a jean jacket right now. Yeah. She wrote in it's and said, jacket, hey, what about oh. Two Guns and what about these other movies? Oh, wait, I would say I would consider... What? RIPD, though, possibly to be included possibly. because they're not, they have powers. Yeah, but my yeah. daddy, my daddy taught me Shut to, up. don't kick a man don't when he's down. That's, yeah, yeah, right. That's the only. I wanted to put something on there that I could throw under the bus. Yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> I understand. But, but no, that doesn't count. The, the five, the five superhero movies will be Kick Ass 2. They will, it will be Man of Steel. It will be Iron Man 3. There will be Thor 2. And, and one more. The Wolverine. There you go. So yeah. the way we'll do it is we're yeah. going to rank, we are all going to rank our choices, how mm-hmm. we like them, and you will talk about exactly why you rank them that way, and we'll go down the list. Okay. Would we like ladies to go first? Yeah, we're going to hear from some of our other panel here as well, depending yep. on what topic it is, and we're yep. going to hear from you, Schmoville, so get your picks ready. That's right. At Schmoes No, Facebook.com slash Schmoes No. Tell us, again, what we're talking about. Tweet at us, Facebook us, and then we're going to take some phone calls a little later, but let's start with Tiffany. Tiffany, rank your five movies and tell us why they're I'm in the ranking. I'm going five to one. Five to one, and tell okay. us why they're in that order. 
So I'm going to have to say that I think uh, Iron Man 3 would be in the number five spot for okay. me. Um, How come? I just don't think it was an Iron Man movie. Okay. It was a Shane Black film. Like it just wasn't wow. the way I walked Christian out. Christian Harloff, you just got attractive. I walked out and was just like the most memorable stuff was not in the suit and it's not an Iron Man film to me. Okay. So I mean and we didn't have that many films. So being in the bottom is it's not bad. It just wasn't it Is was that why movie. you wanted RIPD in there so you didn't have so to give Iron Man? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, who's at four? Um at number four I will put kick ass two. Okay. Uh I enjoyed it, but I I mean it was fun. It just is not I just don't love the characters as much as I loved some of the other characters this okay. year. Um, then I'm going to go with, which movie is that? Who starred in that one? Um, (laughs) (laughs) um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say that I'm going to go with, uh, Thor, the dark world. At number, At number three. three. Silver yeah. medalist. Okay. All right. Uh, right. Bronze medalist. Because, I remember, okay. uh, oh, one, oh. one thing, by the way, just to let everybody know, there, will be, no, there will be no spoilers on, on Thor 2 whatsoever. Here's Don't the thing for me. It. It's a, actually a hard, that spot for me was a hard one because I'm like between Man of Steel and Thor. Those two were a toss up for me because okay. I and I was so excited for Man of Steel and okay. I think they did a lot of really good things in it. I think there were some things that did not work. Mm-hmm. Um, but Thor, there wasn't anything that like, it, it's really good, but there wasn't anything new or super duper fresh in it for me. Like, All I right. didn't walk out thinking this was a totally new superhero flick. Okay. Um, so then I'm going to put Man of Steel next. Okay. Um, I think, I I know there were some things that didn't work, but I was pumped to see Henry Cavill play the character and get a little bit of backstory. And um, Michael Shannon was amazing as Zod. I think that, that casting was fantastic. Um, and in my number one spot, I'm going to put the Wolverine. Okay. Wow. So why, yeah. the, why the number one? Just curious. Um, I think that as far as casting goes, yeah. that Hugh Jackman is possibly one of the most underrated for being cast so well in a superhero film. Really? Um, yeah. yeah. He's underrated. I mean, I he's think, great. I mean, I it's... think if you asked most people before this year that everyone's like, oh my God, Robert Downey Jr. is the most amazing superhero casting ever of all time. And then you see Hugh Jackman and you're like, he legitimately goes into character, gets he really he knows into it, he takes well. it really okay. seriously. His hairdresser right. helps. He, <laughs> so that, so that was, I'm glad that they've gotten rid of the hair. That was it was too much. Oh, I love um, the hair. That's the best part. The the comic book that they took a lot from Wolverine that Chris Claremont did right. is one of my favorites, and I love it when it's you can see moments from the comics yeah. in the film, but it's not so perfectly the same that you are not surprised. Okay. Um, so there were, like I talked to you about this, there was yeah. one shot where he's shot with all these arrows mm-hmm. and it's legitimately like pages from the comic and that's you're like, cool. I nerd out over that. All right. So that's Tiffany's yeah. list. Now what now we're going to do is we're going to take a call from Schmoville and have the, see what they thought of your list. Okay. All right. Hey, you're in Schmoville. Who do we got? <laughs> uh, you got Robert. Robert. Hi. So you just heard Tiffany's list. What did you think? Uh, you can <laughs> say she's wrong. <laughs> oh, let's, wait, hold on. Let's, what, what's that? No, I said it's a good list. I would just switch with the Wolverine and Man of Steel. Okay, so you put Man of Steel at, at number, number one. one. Okay, great. Robert, thanks for the yeah. call. All right, guys, so we have, again, make sure you tweet in at Schmoes. No, there's a lot of Schmoville right now telling us your list. Keep doing it. Give us the list. We'll read out a couple of your lists in a little bit. Um, and, again, Facebook.com slash Schmoes. No, if you don't like us there, do that. All right, Mark, I'm going to give my list. Okay. Um, here uh, we go. I was doing the next stretch for now mine. We're going, okay. we're, we're going <laughs> away. We're going away. Right. Right. Okay, so for me, at number five, I'm going kick-ass two. Okay, you were um, not. You were never a fan of that. I was you not walked a, out of the theater I, not like I did it. not give my review on it. You guys reviewed it on the YouTube channel. I've never given my thoughts on it, I guess, to, to anyone in Schmoville. So my, my thing is... I, <laughs> I've never given my thoughts to anyone. It's <laughs> <to> anyone. <laughs> yeah, it's well, a secret. I just, I just wasn't a fan of the film. I thought that it, uh, the magic that Matthew Vaughn brought to it was lost, and I thought that it was just... Uh, is a little. I, I thought it was a little more over the top than the original one was. It wasn't connected to any of the characters the way it was beforehand, um, and it just it just didn't it didn't have that that originality that the first one had. It just felt like it was rushed. So that was number five for uh, me. Wow. Uh, yeah. Number four. I'm actually going Iron Man three, and not to repeat all of the points that Tiffany made, but repeating all the points that Tiffany made. Uh, it just, for me, I love Shane Black. I, I do, and I, I think as a Shane Black fan, I would rank it as a high movie if it was a standalone mm-hmm. film, but it wasn't. It was a Marvel movie yeah. that, if I'm looking at it as a Marvel fan, as a superhero fan, it does. It did not continue um, the Avengers universe the way I wanted it to. It was it was fairly disappointing in that aspect, and I thought that the twist was, um, was, was cheap in a superhero way 
creative in a Shane Black way. Well, what about as a standalone Iron Man film, though? Because if you just take no. out, if you just, it, can't you factor out the fact that, hey, this has to forward phase two? No. Can't you just look at it as no. just a self contained Iron Man piece? I, 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 I can't because the it, Avengers well, ruined it. Yeah, because the thing it's a different movie if it's yeah. a standalone Iron Man. If it's the first movie that ever comes out, it doesn't make sense, obviously, because there's references to New York here and yeah. there, and there's so much stuff going on. <laughs> that would have been a disaster. But that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Though. So <laughs> it, it, it's hard. That's a hard question. So I'm going to let that pass. Uh, for for number <laughs> double there. Th- yeah. For number three, uh, I am actually going with the Wolverine. I loved the Wolverine. Mm. I thought it was great. I like. I really enjoyed. Love's Wait, a big word. Hold on a second. Love's a big no, word. No, 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 no. Oh, he's I, changing. Oh, I messed, he's I messed changing. It. He's I messed, changing. Oh, I, messed, I messed it up. One number, challenge. Number flag. three. Number three is Man of Steel. Number three is Man of Steel. Mm. Three is Man of Steel, and the reason why again, from my, I, I understand a lot of grievances that people have with mm-hmm. the film. I really do, and I think that there's going to be times where we're going to see, we're going to need to see more of Henry Cavill as Superman to really get a. He looks like Superman. He was a great. Uh, he was much. I mean, look, Brandon Ruth was was fine for what it was. He was Superboy, not Superman. And his reveal really <laughs> yeah. it, it worked. But there was there was an oversaturation of action. But what I loved about it, I got to see Superman kick ass again. I got to see him. Uh, re- I, I really like the very end of that movie. Without spoiling, a lot of people have complaints about it. Oh, that that goes against what Superman does. I thought that Henry Cavill played it in such a way. That it brought pain to Superman, what he had to do. I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to watch it again on Blu-ray. So that's why mm-hmm. I, I. And but again, I acknowledge the problems that a lot of people have with it. And that's only his third. I mean, I favorite. think the biggest yeah. complaints were not necessarily the one thing that happened, but the like whole yeah, city yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, and, I, and I'm like, it's one of those, like, it's one of those like, movies that it's just very hard for me to argue against anybody who has problems with it. Yeah, because I, I get it. But I just, I'm such a Superman fan. That it was so great to see him kicking ass again. Like it's hard to around. say you don't like it, even yeah, when there's stuff that doesn't work in it. There's stuff that doesn't work in it for sure, and it, and that's why I think, and that's why number two for me is the Wolverine because I like that the Wolverine was a smaller film. Mm-hmm. I like that it was more of a character piece, mm-hmm. and it wasn't this big superhero action summer movie. It wasn't. It was a character piece. We got yeah. to see more, uh, and some people, were, oh, I was bored. I liked the fact that it was slow. I, dug I loved that. it. Yeah, me too. The only thing that I had a problem, I, I thought that. Silver Samurai could have been handled a little better, um, but other than that, I really enjoyed the movie a lot. I really enjoyed the score, and I thought James Mangold did a fantastic job. Mm-hmm. All right, that only leaves your number one, Thor Two, man. I'll tell you, Thor Two, really? was, yeah, you know, because what? you love Cat Denning so much. I, is it because you just I, saw it? I, I, you no, think? no, and I can tell you why. Because okay. look, I'd like to throw Cat Denning's character in the garbage can, um, but because it's it's she's absolutely horrendous in the movie. <laughs> oh uh, and, but it's not. Look, it's not her. It's not her fault. <laughs> it's not her fault. Her character is it's the Transformers humor, and I'll hit all the shitty parts first with this <laughs> Until the end of time, every time I talk to Christian about Thor, I'm like, hey, remember that part in Thor when Cat Dennis You brought up Cat Dennis. You want to get me started? You I'm bring her up. It. I was trans- testing you. It's Transformers and- humor. And here's the thing that is some, that you, you're going to say, though, too. Like, <sighs> sometimes you can't always have serious, you always can't have serious Mark said this in our review, and he's absolutely right. Thank you. You can't always have the serious, dark tone in comic book superhero movies. You can't. It's not, it, this movie doesn't have those. It has great, com- just like the first one, there were some great moments in Thor that really worked. Uh huh. And there were some a lot of moments in Thor that were really funny between Thor oh. and between maybe Thor and Natalie Portman at points here, there, and there. And some Loki. cheesy moments. And Loki, there were some funny moments that really worked. Mm-hmm. And then when she when the Kat Dennings character came in, it threw it off. But what I loved about it is I loved what Alan Taylor, the director who of Game of Thrones notoriety, mm-hmm. what he did, you really could tell. That he, this guy directs Game of Thrones. It's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The action is great. Um, I thought Chris Hemsworth. I say this every time he's in a movie. That guy is a movie star, man. Yeah. He is a that guy is a star. And I really, well, it was the comic book superhero movie that I wanted to see in the summertime that I didn't get, and it just <laughs> poor Chris had to wait till November. Yeah, <laughs> to see the movie but he really wanted true. to see but, in June. But the, what it did also, what Iron Man <laughs> didn't do, in my opinion, uh-huh. was it furthered along. Stop it! Stop it! It further. Can we listen? I, Sorry, yes, on. it furthered I, along. I wasn't flirting with Riley during, it your, during along. your list. No, he just randomly stood up, and it I'm popped, like, why are you standing up, up? Like somebody sent out the Riley signal. Yeah, yeah. but listen. I thought he was trying to interject something. No. That's all. But the thing, what what <sighs> Thor, what Thor two did, what I think Iron Man didn't do, was it furthered along Phase two. Yeah, there were a lot of like it acknowledged Avengers, and there's there's a cool cameo in there, which I won't say anything. There's yeah. the the and the credit scenes, which we'll get into credit scenes later. Fantastic. So. That was my favorite. Our spoiler review of Thor is in the Thor Two is in the can, by the way. I think oh, it's coming out tomorrow like, night, uh, right? sometime soon. Yeah, great. I think okay. it also furthered Thor as a character more than Iron Man Three did. 
What's wait? Say that again. It furthered Thor as a character. Oh, like you got to know yes. more about him Absolutely. than you did in Iron Absolutely. Man. Absolutely, and it, it because you you saw you see where he went from that first from the first movie yeah. until now. Absolutely, yeah. one hundred percent agree. In Ellis, defense, you didn't know a lot about Thor to begin with. Like Iron Man, Iron Man, you kind of know everything about Iron Man in the first five minutes of the first movie. You know everything there is to know about Tony Stark. Then when he comes out of the cave, you know pretty much everything there is to know about Iron Man. But and now it's my turn to talk. Yes. At number five. <laughs> I'm gonna have. I feel like he was about to throw punches. Yeah. No, but here's the thing: is like you look at the superhero movies this year, and I, I kind of look at them like I look at like '70s singer-songwriter rock. I don't hate any of them, and I don't love any of them at the same time. I just kind of accepted all of them for what they were. <laughs> nothing really wowed me, and nothing was like, oh, turn that shit off immediately. Yeah. Right. But at number five is gonna be Man of Steel, and I didn't hate Man of Steel. I really didn't hate it, but man, did it disappoint the hell out of me. You know? Because mm-hmm. you're watching, like you said, Christian. You said that you think that there is going to be a movie where you're gonna to get to know Henry Cavill and he's going to get to be Superman. My question is, why the hell couldn't that movie have been Man of Steel? Because there was so much other cool shit in there. There was, It looked great. Mm-hmm. It looked beautiful. I love the performances of the two fathers. I think Kevin Costner as Pa Kent and Russell Crowe as... Flippy Flam, <laughs> Flam was fantastic. Yeah. But then the, the, the movie just had no heart. It was just kind of after a while, it was just Superman flying around and flying into shit and yelling at stuff. The end I did like. I also liked the choice that Superman made. Maybe that's because I wasn't as invested in Superman in this one. Maybe okay. I would have felt differently if that was Christopher Reeve doing that to General Zod, but remains to be seen. At number four, I am going to have Iron Man 3. Which is very surprising to me because Iron Man three, I love the first half of that movie. If yeah. Because the, it's because you didn't get your song in it, huh? It's That's be- why. Because <laughs> they had no ACDC <laughs> at all, no Black Sabbath in Iron Man three. How do you get away with that? Because if we're just doing halves, then the first half of Iron Man 3 may have been the best comic book movie I've seen this year. But the second half, not only did I not Uh like the twist with the Mandarin, not only did it not have the cool rock that I like in it, the fact that Iron Man is just slinging shitty one-liners two seconds after the love of his life just dies, or he thinks she's dead, that just, that that totally took me out of the movie and it didn't have to happen. The one reason why I'm going to put Iron Man 3 ahead of Man of Steel is because at least Iron Man 3 gave us something at the end of the movie. Something to look forward to. Even if it was just Tony Stark and somebody else from the Avengers kind of rapping with each other. I like that. I know that DC is not Marvel, but I hated the fact that Man of Steel just ended. I hated that. I hated that it was just, oh, so we showed Wayne Enterprises on the satellite. That's enough. I wanted to see something else happen. All right. All right. Um, at number three, <laughs> somebody just settle down. This is my time. I, I'm just all right. I'm, You're I'm, on. I'm just listening. I'm just listening. At number three, I am going to have the Wolverine. The Wolverine was it was good, and that's pretty much all I have to say about the Wolverine. Wait, so, how, so, <laughs> what, so it, I'm it curious. Good, and, I'm done. curious, and why would you rank that? Why would you rank Wolverine higher than than because Iron Man three? It, it, it kind of managed the game well. You know, okay. Iron Man three took some took some more chances, but then it really fucked up a couple things. Okay. Man of Steel, I just thought was it was just more of a drippier uh, watch, mm-hmm. and so I think the Wolverine popped a little. Bit. It right. didn't do too anything that was great, but it was solid. It was a solid comic book film. Okay. At number two, I'm going to have. This is really tough. This is where you, you really separate the men from the boys here. So, I'm going to separate the men from the boys. But I'm going to put the men at number two. I'm going to put Thor and Loki and all his buddies at number two uh, because I thought Thor: The Dark World was awesome. I mm-hmm. thought it was an awesome watch. I liked the humor in it. It made wow. me laugh a lot. This is yeah. shocking to there, me. There's a couple times when you know it, could Kat Dennings' character was she necessary? No, but it made me laugh. I thought it was, I thought it was really funny. Um, we're not going to mention who dies or who doesn't die in Thor 2, but um, I, I thought it was... A, and again, for the future of Thor and those Easter eggs that you get, I thought that was really, really cool. Yep. And those Easter eggs might play into some of my picks later on in this hour. Okay. At number one, I'm going to have Kick-Ass That's too. shocking to me. It was... The most enjoyable really superhero surprised. film yeah. I had in the theater this year. Wow. And maybe yeah. it's because I was sitting there with Tiffany Smith, you know, and everybody thought we were on a date. Maybe that's why. <laughs> wow. But, you know, I was just eating a big bucket of popcorn and I was laughing. I thought yeah. the action was great. Yeah. I, I don't know where you're coming from when you when you fault the director for anything. Because I thought all those action scenes were really well done. And by the way, Jim Carrey knocked his role out of the park. The only reason I didn't schmote a little bit higher is because I wanted more Jim Carrey in there. I understand why they would want to cut as much of that. Yeah. You know, yeah. weirdo out, but I thought Jim Carrey was fantastic. I thought the whole movie was fun. The scene at the end with McLovin as the villain, he was hysterical. Yeah. He was so funny. Yeah, I just did, didn't didn't speak to me. Yeah. All right. I so laughed, I cried, I got laid that night. Let's get really Tiffany, you what? finally. Huh? No, hey, ne- next category. All right. So let's let's get let's hey, talk Tiff. let's what? get let's hey, talk Tiff. to Schmoville real quick and, and let's talk well, we didn't hear about what they thought about my list, what they thought about your list. Hey, uh-huh. you're in Schmoville, who do we got? 
Hey guys, what's up? It's Tony Morrow. Tony Morrow. Hi. So you just heard both um, mine and Ellis's list. What do you think? What does Santa Barbara have to say yeah, about the when, list? What do you think about the list? Okay. It, uh, to me, the only uh, superhero movies that I enjoyed the most uh, this year were uh, Man of Steel, uh, despite its flaws. And uh, I really liked The Wolverine. I was actually pretty surprised by that movie. But Iron Man 3, Storing, that was terrible. Thor 2, which comes out tomorrow Tony, Tony, uh, for us. Tony, uh, I, love, I love you to death. Not, not I, excited. I, but, I need you to know. stay on target. I need you to stay on target. Out of the list, stay on target. Out of, out of the stay two on list, target. Out of the two lists we gave well, you, <laughs> what, do, what do you think? There's too many of them. Well, well I'm just saying, because, uh, you know, Man of Steel and, uh, and Wolverine were yeah. kind of low on both of your lists. Uh, those are the only two movies so that So what you're saying is you like my list the best. Big ass two, I freaking hate it. You know what? As much as I hate to say it, Tiffany, you can have Tony. So wait, he's so, all yours. Wait, <laughs> final final thought, Tony. What did you say about Kickass Two? I'm better than Finstock. <laughs> what did you say? What did you, ah, <laughs> Tiffany and Finstock. So what did you say about Kickass Two? I hated that film. Oh, okay. The first one was okay, but the second one, as you said, Christian, was just too silly and over the top. All right, Tony. Uh, it was just terrible. All right. Well, you're on my side. All right, Tony. Thanks a lot. All right, so now what we're going to do, now we're going to move in. Those were our lists. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move into some topics. And the way this will work is we'll talk about our favorite certain moments or characters, and then we will just, you know, kind of quick, and then we'll bring in a ringer, yeah. which will be someone from our podcast, and then we'll ask them what their favorite part of that, you know, whatever topic is that we're talking about, and then we'll move on to the next who's one. Gonna, who's it going to be? Is it going to be an intern? Is it going to be McCoug? Is it going to be Kenny? Is it going to be Mark Riley? Are we going to replace Mark Riley with the janitor because Riley keeps standing up Ken, at an opportune time? Ken, <laughs> Ken will never answer because all of his answers will be Christopher Reeve, 1978. <laughs> it will not work. Yeah. Uh, the only super movie, hero movie I saw this year was a Johnny Carson documentary. <laughs> Stop I it. I liked was, your tweet when I read that. That was a really good <laughs> documentary. The good thing, the thing that's awesome that I will say about Ken, though, is when we started shooting Stacked, uh -huh. he would constantly make jokes and be like making up names of characters because he had no idea. Now, legitimately, there was a moment where I was like, wait, what's that character's name again? And Ken knows. Ken knows. He's actually reading them. I'm so proud. I think he is reading comics. It's a matter he of He is. It's, I'm he's, so he's proud a, of him. Well, yeah, because he's a grouchy old man who just sits in his underwear reading comic books now. But he, doesn't, he wasn't he doesn't... before. No, no. It's now, no before no he was just grouchy. <laughs> <laughs> Ken said there's no it's underwear Naked as a jaybird. All right, so let's get to these topics. I'll start it off here, and, and we'll talk about uh, best villain. Okay. All right. So basically, we'll talk. Who was your favorite villain in all of the Iron Man? Uh, all of the Iron Man. <laughs> all, and all, uh, that's not it actually mine. It would not be. Not mine. It will that's, not be I from Iron be. Man. I can tell uh, you that. So for me, yeah. I think it's going to be. Uh, you know, we might get this a couple times on the board. I'm going Loki. Uh, Loki for me is. And it's funny, though, too, because depending on how you look at it, is he 100% a villain in this one? You have to decide on your own. Um, but I, I think that he, Tom Hiddleston, has done something with that character, mm -hmm. man, that it just every time you see him, you want to see more of Loki. He has become... And he's become a rock star. Loki's become a rock yeah. star now, and in a good villain way. And I think the funny thing is that Malekith, who's the, the other yeah. villain, he, you know, Christopher Eccleston plays him in this, and... I think he looks cool, but he's fairly unforgettable. He's unforgettable. In, in, you mean he no, is he forgettable. is forgettable. What I say, Nat King Cole was unforgettable. He's unforgettable. He's forgettable. No, excuse me, he's forgettable, and he he is. He it's it's one. It's like he. There's nothing to him. As where there's mm -hmm. there's depth to Loki at this point. There's something. There's a reason that he's doing, it, and that's why I thought Loki was yeah. is the best villain and of I, 2013. I think that there is something to be said for having villains who are in a gray area because like DC versus Marvel. DC does a freaking amazing job with their villains right. because those villains believe that they're heroes. Right. Like they think that what they're doing is on some right. level exactly. the right thing. Yes. And so Loki's character, he thinks like he's like, I'm trying to get or like I'm talking about from the first film, not yeah. the second one, but he's like, I'm just trying to get these people on earth to like listen to someone who has their best interest right. at heart. I, I, yeah. that's true. Know? Well the other thing is too Which that's is why, why he works. And that's why I can't spoil anything, but there's a particular moment that makes, and it'll be in our spoiler oh review. Boy. It'll be in our spoiler Christian review. I'm not, easy. Talk, I'm not gonna talk about, but there's a moment that really makes me like him even more. And I'll, and I'll again in the spoiler that's review. That's when all my red flags go. Is when somebody says, "I don't want to spoil anything." But, but, but yeah. Tiffany, so yeah. Tiffany, who's your favorite villain of 2013? I, I it's a toss up for me. Yeah, who you got? I would. I mean, Loki is amazing. Yeah. I think that everyone, you just want to see more of him. Right. Um, I think that Zod was was pretty freaking great because of the way that they described him, where it was like he was born to be this way and mm -hmm. that was his one job. And so when you see that in him, you're like, okay, it makes more sense as to why you're such a despicable person because right. you were born to do that one job. Okay. Um, and I think he was like, he was just so good. 
All right. Well, when have, we got those like the uh, little videos, the leaks at the beginning. Yeah. That I'm that was like, cool. Yeah. So, and t- there's there's some holes in that, but still, it was pretty cool. Um, yeah. I also so Schmoville, make sure right now at Schmoes know who was your favorite villain in superhero movies in 2013. Tweet us at Schmoes know Facebook.com. Schmoes know talking superhero movies 2013. Mark, who's your favorite villain? 2013. Uh, favorite villain of 2013. Is Thor's penis. That guy is making all the wrong decisions <laughs> with that part of his anatomy. It's like really you're gonna fall in love with an Earthling? She's gonna be a wrinkled shrew in 40 years, guy. You age 10,000 years. Why don't you date somebody like Jamie Alexander? She's suited for you. I want to take Loki like everybody else, yeah. um, but the way that Loki spends this particular film versus the way that Christopher Mintz Plus's character spends Kick-Ass 2, I want to go with Kick-Ass 2 a little bit. Right. Maybe I'm trying to be different too, but I think that seeing him as a villain, he made me laugh, and I also, unlike the first one where I just didn't even believe he'd be a superhero, all of the things that he has at his disposal in Kick-Ass yeah. 2, all of the, the kind of mental games he's playing and the sidekicks that he has doing his evil bidding, yeah. I'm going to go with him as my favorite villain of 2013. Wow, that's shocking. Yeah. Okay, you're not a big sho- fan. I feel like it's not shocking when you picked Kick-Ass 2 as his favorite yeah. superhero flick of the year. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. All right, so are there any other, from from the panel in here, too, any any of the ringers, is there another villain that we haven't talked about that you want to throw in? You're just you're opening up to all the ringers at well, once? I wanna, this I is going to be a disaster. I'm, well, I'm going to ask, I'm going to first ask Schmoville. I'm going to take a phone call from Schmoville and see who their favorite villain was, and then I'm going to ask if, there, if there's no other, if everybody else has the same ones, then no. It sounds a lot like Loki's winning this it seems one. like it. All right, hey, you're in Schmoville. Who do we got? Okay, this is Isaiah. Hey, Isaiah. So, Isaiah, who was your favorite villain in the superhero movies of 2013? Well, it was Mandarin for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Mandarin was for the good first for half yeah, of for the about movie. a good hour, Mandarin was a good villain. And then Shane Black flushed that down the toilet. Yeah, yeah, so, so, would you consider so, Shane Black a villain? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd probably have to say Zod. Zod. Nice okay. Deal. All right. Yeah. So another vote for Zod. All right, man. Thanks for the call. So that's it. I mean, you got Zod, you got mm-hmm. Loki. I mean, a lot of good mm-hmm. villains out there, too. Let's go to our next one. That would be the counterpart, which would be the greatest hero. Who is the greatest hero this year? In uh, Unless you guys, anybody, that's all the villains that we have. So greatest hero, who's your favorite hero so far? <laughs> Everybody's scratching their head. They're like, Nobody what was that knows. thing it's called like, in yeah. Wolverine? <laughs> it was big and it was metal. I can't remember it. So And you, you bring up Wolverine, and I'm going to say that he's my, he's my favorite hero this year because mm-hmm. – uh, again, the fact that in that in that movie he was given up, he was done with it all, and it took and any any for the first time he was really he faced his mortality and he really went through a lot more so than mm-hmm. I think any of the other heroes did, and it was nice to see him in the, again this smaller story. So Wolverine's my pick. All right, yeah, I got to go with Superman. Um, he just had so many lines in that movie. Wait, just I'm stop. Kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. Just stop. Uh, I like Superman. I really did. Yeah. But uh, I think in considering all of these heroes, I think I got to go with Thor because I did like Kick Ass Two a lot, but that kind of split the ballot between heroes and right. when you see Thor the Dark World yes Tom Hiddleston stole the show at Comic Con and he's fantastic in Thor the Dark World but man as soon as Thor walks on screen even with these other Asgardian warriors fighting you know who the hero yeah. is you right. know hey Anthony Hopkins you're a great actor why don't you sit on the throne with your golden eye patch and let your kid take over yeah. Thor is the best hero of the year by far all right Tiffany um I I'm I'm stuck between both of your choices okay I mean, Wolverine for me is one of my favorite characters, and I think it's because he does have this gray line of he's kind of the loner yeah. who might not always make the right decisions, right. but when it really comes down to it, he'll do what he needs to do for people that he loves. He's like Mark Ellis with claws. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and not Thor, the, Thor, not, I think in this wake film, up. <laughs> they don't care. Get some he's life like, in he's here. tweeting back there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, he's not tweeting. Josh has been buried in his phone for way too long. He's no. texting somebody. No, you can't. If you're gonna text, are you text, wait, texting? No, that's, 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 he's texting. No, if you're texting. texting, by the way, sometimes you text. If you're texting, you can't be in the tweet corner. That's the rule because sometimes because I get comments. Who's the asshole in the background texting? He's, just, he's, and I always defend you. you. I always defend you and say he's tweeting <laughs> back I there. Tweeting. I don't yeah. think you're tweeting. I think you're texting some. You, you know what else? Girl. He's, you know what else he's doing? Yeah, I, I know he's texting a girl because he he usually is like right behind me. But I've been noticing he's got his angle and he's so you can clearly see. Makuga, yeah. he's been smiling. He he's been doing this maneuver. Yeah. He's been thumbs upping. Yeah. He's up to he's up to he's no about good. To start crying. He's not here one week. What an <laughs> asshole! All right, hey Josh, um, thanks for bringing the beer by the way. Douche. <laughs> the other thing that I think is uh, with Thor, I kind yeah. of and I don't know if anyone else has said this yet, but yes. he, I feel like he's gonna be the new Brad Pitt. Thor? Like he's where got a shot. Chris Hemsworth, yeah. where it's like he's so good looking, and for whatever reason, because he's so handsome, people forget that he can actually act. Well, but but and then a, you but, see him in Rush, and yes. he blows you away, he and does. then he pulls off this character, which he, he blew Thor, away. I have to say, is yeah. a hard character to pull off. Well, because absolutely. 
He's he really is just like this arrogant whatever has no flaws. And there's something to him now. And, yeah. and the thing what Hemsworth does, and I agree with you uh, bringing this to Thor. But another, another reason dudes like him too, the same way they like Brad Pitt, is because he's got that thing. He's not just a pretty boy. Yeah, he's got there's yeah. something to him. You're like, all right, this 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 guy's cool, and, yeah. and he brings that that aura. You want to have drinks with him? Yeah, like um, you want to hang out. I want to have, right. have drinks with Iron Man. Uh, yeah, I have drinks with that. That's very but true. But I'm talking about as an actor, like outside of it, too. I, I want to have want... drinks with Robert Downey Jr. Okay. Right. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's a great night out. All right, yeah, let's, I, mean, I want to read, yeah, I wanna read some some tweets now from the heroes, who their favorite heroes are. Uh, these but, aren't from the superheroes. The superheroes didn't tweet you. No, this these is, are this people is from voting. Schmobel. Okay. This is from Schmobel. Uh, yeah. we got to vote for Bobby Finstock, which is good. Uh, <laughs> Whoever tweeted that in, you are terrible. Yeah, Bobby Finstock. Just kidding, uh, you're not terrible, Thor, but Bobby Finstock is. Thor, Wolverine, Iron Man. Wolverine, Superman. There you go. Uh, Superman, Superman, Superman. Thor. Whoa. Wolverine, Wolverine, uh, Wolverine, Wolverine. Superman. We got a lot. I mean, it's 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 all around the border. Who their mm-hmm. favorite was? Wolver- a lot of Wolverines, a lot of Supermans. And I do. I think Superman was a really good hero. The way they set him up. So he um, looked awesome. Yeah. I like the new uh, the new Under Armour suit that Superman's got. I think it's badass. You do? I do. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. pretty cool. It's got that Gore-Tex uh, got shit on it. Well, Wild Man's got one. Who do you got? Oh, I just I, I want to say this overall. That I was. I get it. You weren't texting. I get no, it. I wasn't. No. <laughs> if you were texting, you know. Yeah, oh, My pants would be off. Dirty. That's how I text. Dirty. <laughs> what I'm saying is, overall, I was so disappointed by the entire superhero slate of 2013. Like, beyond. Listen, I love Superman. Mm-hmm. Love me some Wolverine. Love. I fell asleep in Superman. Fell asleep halfway through Iron Man and woke up near the end. And I was like, there's 40 of them? Where did all these come from? <laughs> like, I just, I was not entertained by any of them. I'm going to really? go see Thor because you guys recommended it so highly. But overall, it was like a terrible first date with a vegan. It was wow. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. You'll like Thor. Take the girl that you're texting right now to go see Thor. She'll, yeah. she'll enjoy it. She's okay, always. so let's get to the Now, this this is one that's going to be pretty easy for my pick, but we'll let you guys go first. Worst comedy moment in a superhero movie this year. <laughs> the worst comedy moment. Worst what was com- the, the worst smelling fart in a theater? <laughs> what was the moment this year? you just said, no, what did it, come on. Um, it, it's tough for me because I really, I'll let Riley weigh in first. Let's, because- let's, let, let's let the ringer go in first. Riley's Mine's gonna start. an unintentional You know what I love is when Riley really yeah. has a point, he stands up like the groundhog yeah, didn't see his yeah. shadow. Yeah. All right, exactly. Riley, exactly. Riley, who do you got? What movie? That's why when uh, he stood up over there, I was like, what? I did too. I thought he had I something to say. No, by the way, that was had yeah. nothing to do with you guys. I was doing business with Ken Napsok, okay? <laughs> it had to, everything to do with the site. You guys just need to calm down you, and you, focus. You sprung right. up like the cobra in a Turkish bazaar. Yo, it's like a meerkat. A meerkat. Yo, It's my favorite movie. All right, come on, Okay, okay. Okay, so Iron Man 3, when Guy Pierce breathes fire <laughs> and Don Cheadle goes, oh, you breathe fire now? There was people in the audience going, <laughs> that's so funny. And I went, that's it. Fuck you. I'm out. Right, all right. So you're that right. was the that, worst thing I've ever F-bomb seen. Yeah, very one. passionate. Yeah. All right, well, no, so it was. It pulled me out of the movie completely. All right, all right. So there's Riley's moment. Ellis, what do you got? Yeah, I'm going to have to go with something that made me laugh at the time. And then, like, <laughs> upon further review, yeah. it Not was funny. very, very unfunny. Okay. Uh, and that is going to be the Mandarin reveal. Uh, I, I won't go into too much specifics, but it, during the scene, it, it had me kind of laughing a yeah, lot. With you the, what it ben again, he was worthy. doing as yeah. the character. I was like, man, he this guy's a really good actor. And then I'm like, oh shit, that really happened. Mm-hmm. Oh, I take back my laughs. After further review, the laughs are, are it's a it's a clean slate. Yeah. Okay. Um, for me, I'm torn here because I, I don't want to re- I don't want to reveal to there, there's a part in Thor with two interns that I could have d- done without. Um, the, it's the, not the two. Not, here. I know. Not you guys. Not oh, you guys. Don't worry, boys. Yeah. That. But uh, you know what? I'll yeah. go. I'm gonna go with Kickass. Two. What? There's, the whole thing. The whole thing. No, there, there's a, there's a, there's a, that rape scene thing that yeah. is, that someone actually tweeted in as well. I, I yeah. agree. It was really stupid. Um, I thought that the what his name the motherfucker is what his name is in the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought it was forced the whole way through. Most of the stuff that he said didn't make me laugh at all. I, and I just most You're, of his moments well, were and shit I think on a shingle. It, the thing with that, on top. if you read the if you read the comic books, and I I think I said this in stacked, but I was like, yeah. it's very. He's so much worse in the comic books. Yeah, but again, and I think so Vaughn like, could have pulled that stuff off. No, I don't think this guy the could've. stuff that is said in the comic books, they could not, it would have been too yeah. bad in the film, like for it to be watchable, right. I think. Right. So, okay. And I feel like they tried to make it funny and it doesn't yeah. work. All right, yeah. what, so Tiffany, you got one? Um, mine was an unintentionally funny, not funny moment okay. in Man of Steel when she... <laughs> 
I'm like a five year old. Yeah. When she's trying to push the key. You're in good company. When she tries to push the key in and she's like, it won't fit. And he like looks at her. <laughs> We're trying I'm Man like, of Steel? Yeah, it's in Man of Steel yeah. when she's trying to shove the key in. No. It seems like it made you laugh a lot. Fit. It's funny. Because it wasn't, sp- I'm saying it's not, like it was unintentionally, oh, it was okay. not meant to so, be funny. So you have a, that's a politically correct answer, basically. No. Well, it was, well, what's, what's a it moment was an that awkward. Sucks? Um, Come on, there's a moment that you said that stinks. I mean, I think that I ha- you have to go with what ha- uh, like everything in Iron Man three for me. I well, mean, right. see, and, <laughs> the bar. All right. This will this will bleed into our next topic though too because if you talk about the best comedy yeah, moment, yeah. then I think a lot of the first half of Iron Man three had some really I really funny stuff. I think I mean the stuff too. like all of the stuff with the kid was funny, but it should right. not have been an Iron Man. And it right. could have been the second half could have redeemed all that stuff because he could have gotten back in the suit and been Iron Man yeah. and and not had the the way that the Mandarin storyline went. I thought that would have been fine, but just the way the second half. So I'm not going to blame that funny scene that they had mm-hmm. together in the snow because Shane Black directed that beautifully and the actors pulled it off very well. The yeah. kid was great, so yeah. right. I might actually choose that for best comedy. That's I'll think about it for a little right, bit. Well, I'll go, the Christian. I'll go, I'll go to you. I'm going with Thor two, and I will, again without spoiling. There's a there's a certain scene when Thor is in someone's apartment. A thing happens with him. Oh my I got God. A, I got a chuckle out of that. I funny thought it was stuff. really, really like, funny. Everybody in the theater did. I thought it was really funny, mm-hmm. and I thought that the way Hemsworth pulled it off yeah. was great. So yeah. uh, when you see Thor two, you will know what I'm talking yep. about, and it's really funny. All, All right, right then, yeah. Then I'll stick with uh, I'll stick with my Iron Man three. Okay. Uh, pick. All right, Tiff. Wait, as what? what funniest. What, what, what was your Iron Man three what funniest? Is the funniest thing? What's your um, some stuff that Tony Stark said to the, to the kid? kid yeah. right? just I mean, I don't remember the exact. Mo- it's just moments lines. that he has with the kid, the relationship yeah. back and forth. I, when he, I didn't yeah. study the Blu-ray, you know. Right. Yeah. And I want to get some tweets here from kind of Schmoville about your funniest moments. Um, so someone's. Oh, this is another bad one. If someone said, "What if I had to tinkle?" Some mo- moment in Man of Steel. Uh yeah. Oh my gosh. That, that was pretty oh, bad. Oh, 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 oh when Amy Adams says that when she's that's well, bad. Oh, yeah. God. Tyler Myers, Tyler Myers Myers at Not Myers funny. FTW hit it right in the head. The part that didn't work at all was the very end when the, the and Man of Steel when the when the woman says, I I just think he's kinda hot. That whole oh, line. That didn't it. bother me. It you threw, know what oh, bothered me? When yeah. they kissed. Yeah. And yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah, it's all downhill face. after the first yeah. kiss, and he's like I think that's only with humans. What? Oh, right, right, right. Some of that stuff. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, so and, that's, and that's from Tyler Myers, right? <laughs> that was Tyler Myers. Tyler knows his comedy. Yeah, right. You know why? Because he's going to go see me next week in Tampa. All oh, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll I think I think thing. funniest stuff for me would be stuff that happens in Thor. I I laughed out loud yeah. quite a bit. Yeah, there there was uh, there was some good. What? Who's this? F to you? Who's this? From at Koopa Troopa says this. So, um, the Wild Man just gave me a tweet. At Koopa Troopa says no one brings up the penis pods in Man of Steel that Zod and his men got prisoned in. I guess that's it. Is that it? Is that the penis pods? Penis pods. All right. No, but that's like a legitimate I went, punishment. I went over well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. What? Uh, uh, all right. So let's. No, but if I really. Whoa. All right. Let's get. Let's get to. You see, the penis is an organ no on the male body. No one in the room was like, "Oh yeah, the penis pods." No one else knew what you were talking about. It's a spinoff. Yeah. It's it's gonna. And they're, you they're all actually, have the penis penises. Pods, the penis Most pods. of us have penises. I hope. Yeah. The, I don't know for the, a fact. The penis pods actually have a. Uh, part in the Man of Steel sequel. All right, so let's get to the next. What's the next topic that we have? I, I can lead us into the next topic. Yeah, what do you got? Want. This got? is going to be something that Tiffany's going to have to get her head off cock for a second to think about. <laughs> wow. Um, <Whoa>. Yeah. <laughs> get, Why did this turn into attack Tiffany? It's not attack Tiffany. I haven't even right? done anything. I'm just trying to exercise. This is when you want Leanne. You want Leanne to get a little dirty with that poster. Don't I, you? Look, I just stop thinking about male hogs for a second, and I'm gonna pull that thought out. The power of Christ compels you to focus on. <laughs> I'm 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 spinning fucking game here. Ken Napsack is gonna have a heart attack in the background. He's la- he, that's Guys, payback for Guys, dude, you do know that my dad listens. <laughs> hey, Mr. Smack more. Yeah, I know. He definitely texted yeah. me this morning to be like, "Are you on Schmoes tonight?" Yeah. yeah, Dad. Okay, I'll listen. Love you. Dolo Mike. Yeah. Right, let, you let, know let. what? Then that's a good sidebar. Let's talk about your dad's penis, and then we'll get oh right back God. into the <laughs> best hero. Oh my. It isn't. Is this? <laughs> is, I I'm just trying to run the show for her. everybody else seems to be laughing, so I figured I'd take over and just spin oh. it into the next topic. Is that not on Whoa. here? I'm looking, and I. You know what? Uh, yeah, I don't see that on here. So, Whoa. what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to what is your favorite moment of? Uh, I'll be at the uh, Tampa Improv next Good weekend. Uh, if anybody's in the Florida area, and besides Tiffany Smith's family, because I don't think I want to see me do stand up anymore. And this Saturday at the Reno Celebrity Theater in Lake Tahoe. So come on out and check out 
Uh, me in a theater setting. It's <clears throat> unlike anything I've ever seen before. Um, okay, I want everybody to focus here because this is a topic that I came up with. <laughs> and it's PG rated. Um, and it is the best, uh, it's the best character in a superhero film that is not the lead. That is not like the character, that is not like the hero or the villain. <laughs> it's it's like an ancillary character, you know, like uh, like a roadie, an so Iron Man, the rails. <laughs> or uh, um, a uh, you know, like uh, like in Wolverine, one of the one of the Japanese gals that Wolverine was sleeping with. <laughs> Something on that order, uh, is the next topic. So, um, Cobster is filming the reaction. I don't even remember what I said. I don't even know if it's something I did. I don't know if there was like a sidebar laugh. I feel like the teacher right now that like I don't know if they're laughing at a line that I said or somebody in the back cut one and everybody's laughing at that. Riley, what's going on on your side of the room right now? Well, I, I think there was a, a comment made about Tiffany's dad that everybody okay. is. is, is, okay. is it, for me, I'm. I can't breathe. <laughs> okay. Well, I apologize that I did that to everybody. Um, but uh, I, I guess you know Tiffany's dad is somewhat to blame in this. But I'll take the brunt of it. Um, we, I want to talk about the character that is not a hero or a villain. They can be good or bad, but it's just not like the main, main lead. All right. Uh, you, you understand what I'm trying to say here, Chris? I didn't hear yeah. a word you said. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. L right, like, the like the best supporting actor, yeah. or actress. It can be good. It can be bad. It's just not the the main good guy or the main bad guy. Okay. Um, I would go ahead and Whew. say if that. I mean, if that was the case, if we had. I mean, you could go. Ran you could go. I was gonna say Randy Rhodes. You could go with Rhodes. Great guitar you go player. Go with uh, Colonel Rhodes. Yeah. yeah, played by Don Cheadle. Yeah, yeah I think. I think that uh, mm. he. I mean, mm. again, even the fact that you know, or you know. I was also going to go with the girl from Wolverine as well, too. She was really good. She was good and, as well. And, yeah. and I wish to God I could remember even one syllable of her name, but uh, it's it's not popping. But then you also have, there's a lot of really cool characters in Kick-Ass 2, and it's tar it's hard to talk to you about this because you just did not like <laughs> not the movie at all. What, what, what Kick-Ass 2? Kick-Ass 2, yeah. There's just, I mean, could you go, I mean, Hit Girl, I guess, could... Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey was great. Jim, Jim Carrey, Carrey is, my, is, is my pick. Jim Carrey, and, and, and I would understand that pick because Jim Carrey, for me... Was the best part of that movie? Yeah, hands down. Yeah, for sure. You got one, uh, Wild Man. What do you got? Russell Crowe was the redeeming guy in Superman. Yeah, sure. I spy. I, I think both of the fathers. Yeah. Sorry, Tiffany, are really good in in <laughs> Superman. <laughs> The uh, uh, the Kevin Costner character is Pac Kennedy right. and Russell Crowe. Uh, I think was I think they were both great. Tiffany, if if mm -hmm. you can collect yourself, who do you th who's your favorite supporter in these films? Uh that will say this supporter? doesn't really stop it. One doesn't like I want to count it, but it doesn't. The scene with um, Henry Cavill when he's in the diner and that girl's there. That's like one of my favorite scenes. Right. And I feel like there was way more chemistry between him and that girl than Amy Adams. Right, that's right, a good right. call. Um, I think he kissed Lois Lane for the papers and right. then he flew right back to the girl with the yeah. truck stuff. Um, uh, but I think that the whole crew that's with Thor in this film is super strong and they're not the leads and you actually get to know a lot more of them they, than they you had to more get. to do you <clears throat> have your ray stevenson who once upon a time if was you a have Punisher. not watched rome also yeah. one of the most amazing actors and, on the show. and then you have your jamie alexander yeah. who uh we all walked out thinking if, if there's going to be a wonder woman movie maybe she should be considered i'm and zach levi but but which also is a surprise one because i was like wait is that zach oh that's zach that's zach zach levi yeah. that's right yeah that's right yeah and then you have you know natalie <clears throat> portman cat dennings uh, stellan scar oh. stellan skarsgård right right yeah. all right let's move on to the next no, time. I'm what not talking about all those what, extras. I'm just talking about Thor's crew. All right, yeah. What do you have? So how Which about here? Guardians. Here's one. It's the Asgardians. Tiffany, yeah. this one. This one is. I think I know. <clears throat> I know your answer for this, but I'm gonna ask you anyway. Okay. Um, what was the best <clears throat> movie that stuck? Uh, you thought the best to the source material? Would that be Wolverine? If you had, if you took Wolverine out, like out of the other movies, what 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 stayed really true? I mean, to the I source think material? <clears throat> I would go probably to. Birthright, there's a lot of stuff that happens in Birthright, which is happens in Man of Steel. Yeah. And I think for me, knowing that the let Zack Snyder read it and was yeah. really invested in it. It seemed like it was most true. Yeah, there really? was still I mean, there was a lot of changes, but okay. there were definitely moments where when I was watching it, I was like, Oh yeah, I can mm -hmm. see where that was inspired by this comic book. And would you say that <clears throat> Iron Man three is the one that went <clears throat> most off the rails? Oh yes. Yeah. I mean <laughs> Tony Stark and Iron Man the character yeah. is the same, but the villain, like, I mean, if you read, um, this is not a spoiler, but I'm like, 
he is the strongest villain. In, he's like the Joker. The he's like the Joker. Yeah, because he's know? got all those magic rings. Yes. Right? Now, but let me ask His you. His rings though. also have powers, and in the movie, he doesn't have any. With powers. all these things that are swirling around <clears throat> the events, and maybe Ben Kingsley's in talks with Marvel to do something. So, could your answer change in a couple of years? Like, would you be happy if they actually did that, or do you just want them to cut the Mandarin off right now and say, the don't worry about coming back? The only Jack. way that I would be happy with it is if they could prove that that was their plan from the beginning, because I hate it when. <clears throat> they change something because they think that the fans are so annoyed about it. Yeah. Like, I don't want them to go back and be like, oh my God, the Iron Man fans were so upset. Let's right. pretend that this is what we were planning from the beginning. If they really did that and were like, here, look, this is why, yeah. this is how we can prove it. This is how we can prove it. Then okay. I'd be like, okay, you Let, duped us. All right. So, I mean, yeah. that's Tiff, that's our expert there. So, what about, I got one for you. I got, I, got, <laughs> I was going to say, why are you looking at me? Do you think I read any of these things before? <laughs> no, but I got, I got a, I got a, I got a best fight that we're going to do. Oh, I we can talk do, about let's that. Let's do best fight I can first, talk about and then we'll that, take yeah. a call from Schmoville. We'll do best fight first. Okay. Um, for me, best fight, again, not big spoilers, but th as much as he may not have been a great villain, Malekith and, how do you pronounce it? Am I saying it right? Malekith and Thor uh, in this last movie, that fight is awesome. Not only for what you, what happens in that fight, it just it is a it is epic and it was everything I wanted for a final yeah. beat. Down. Yeah, I, I'm about to I'm about to get killed here because if it's best fight as yeah. opposed to action scene. Yeah, a great action scene is when Iron Man is saving everybody falling out of the airplane. That scene looks fantastic, but my favorite yeah. fight scene mm -hmm. is the climax of Man of Steel. Really, it was. Awesome. Okay. And it almost so it redeemed the entire movie for wow. me. Way, not Whoa. only visually, because I actually got invested in the fight again. Yeah. And then the way that it actually played out, I, I thought it made some really ballsy choices. So. All right. Um, ballsy. Okay. Uh, I think. <clears throat> oh, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm going to go with Wolverine again. Okay. Well, right. Because fighting, I love the, the, the stuff samurai? with the, yeah. Do you like the samurai? Yeah. that big silver mm -hmm. doll? Uh, no, the, the stuff with all lady, the ninjas. The lizard lady, get rid of the Oh, the ninjas was great. Yeah. Lizard lady, you can kick in the ass yeah. and get her it out was, of there. It was all the stuff with the ninjas. In yeah, the snow, that was pretty cool. Yeah, they descend upon him. He, he points a couple of them, and then he's and then he's out. Uh, but it was for me. It's because it rarely do you see a situation with Wolverine where mm -hmm. it's like they know that one guy's not going to take him down, so they plotted it, right. and I liked that. And oh, it yeah. was that he was going in knowing that it was a trap. All right, well, let's gonna let's take could. a phone call from Schmoville and find out what your favorite fight was. Hey, you're in Schmoville. Who do we got? Hey, uh, hey, uh, this is uh, Tiffany Smith's dad's penis. <laughs> oh. Josh McCuga, hang up the phone. And then you ought to talk about how you're talking about my penis all day. <laughs> talking about my penis all day. Oh, cut, cut this. Like cut this joker off in the past. I'm sorry. It's, is that, that was, what my dad sounds like? That is not what your dad sounds like. But again, you, Tiffany, you got to consider the source. First of all, it's from the stupid prank mind of Christian Harlow, okay? <laughs> Second of all, it's Josh McCuga, who is perhaps oh, our well, worst man. impression. He is pretty bad. Yeah. Nobody on this panel is particularly great. Christian's okay. Everybody else sucks at impressions. Uh, Riley's pretty good. And Christian picked the worst. Riley, hey! I'm sorry. Riley, oh! I just yeah. want to see you stand up again. Yeah. All right. I just so want to see you did, go for up. We did best fight. And here comes. Guys, my dad's coming back in now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got we have about 10 minutes uh, left of the superhero. I agree, discussion. Christian. I thought Chris, I thought Josh did a great job on the phone. It was good. It was um, terrible. Okay, so we have uh, now the other the other one. Let's see real quick. <laughs> Don't do even think? try. I know Riley's gonna want to pop in. Just here. Riley's gonna want to pop into this one. Okay. Best music. Who had the best score so far of of all the movies? Ooh. Not Iron ah. Man three. I actually think Brian Tyler did a great job for the fact. I that could use really, some more power. He did chords. that and Thor. I thought um, the both, Thor music was awesome. The I Thor love music the Thor was music. Was awesome. Riley, oh. Riley, no, 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 you're not jumping in there yet for this no, one. No, no, we're not. Are all high. Not, no, no, we're not getting. You, know, uh, you can sucked. pick. You know, no. It I like the Thor music. I'll say I'll I'll kick things off and Go I'll ahead. say uh, Thor two. It, it is the freshest it. in my head, and I'm not great at remembering orchestral as much as rock. I right. know, so I know, movie yeah. didn't have enough rock in it, so I'm gonna go with Thor two. It's a great one. Yeah. Um, what Tiff? do you got, Tiff? I'm going with Thor. Thor two. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. It was really good. I think it might be because I. It's the most recent one. And that I was Brian Man Tyler. of Steel stuff was really Man good too. The only thing with Man of Steel, Man of Steel was really great. The problem was he used the same song over and over again, like throughout the whole film, and that mm -hmm. was the only thing for me. I enjoy it very much. It's a great yeah. piece of music, but there was it didn't switch up for me. The best score, and I just actually listened to it again recently, is the Wolverine. The Wolverine score is incredible. Yeah. yeah, something about Man of Steel, though, is that that was probably the toughest act to pull off because you have to follow John Williams. Right. And that classic right. Superman music. Nobody it was epic else. What he did, Hans Zimmer, for sure. Yeah. It was good. It, it was a little repetitive. It, it, he but just I think used it too there's much. also that, that thing of 
you know, you want it to be memorable. You yeah. want to have a like a song that uh-huh. con- when you hear it makes you think of that character. Mm-hmm. And so maybe that's why they repeated it so much. Right. So yeah, we- but <laughs> it was like that first Sabbath album with Ronnie James Dio lead singer. It just wasn't the same. Riley, did we cover all your favorites? I don't want your favorite, not what you didn't like. Yeah, Man of Steel. Man of Steel was your favorite. Okay. <laughs> I'm um, so excited. <laughs> and I doesn't even get mic time. Because no. he got really mad at us all for saying Thor. Why, I know why. Well, he, he brought, and he's brought up this point before, and he's absolutely right. And the fact that Marvel doesn't like to pay for their composers, so they just replace them. They've been replacing them a lot with Brian Tyler. And I, th- personally, I think Riley was very attached to the first Thor score. He loves it. He's talked about it yeah. from the second he saw it. He loved it. And, they, and the guy was replaced. So I think no matter who would have scored it, I don't think Riley would have liked it. That's pers- my personal well, opinion. Um, but I can comment on that, but you won't let me. No, I won't let you right now. You're gonna have the mic later. Um, you gotta uh, have you gotta have confidence in yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Now we only have we only have about seven minutes left. One of the things that I want to talk about here is post credit scenes. Now mm-hmm. Easter eggs. Fuck that. Post post credit scenes. Um, <laughs> that's way to what take they, a political stance. Like, yeah, that's what they are. Wow. I know, but it's so right. silly. Post credit scenes. What do you, what do you guys? Everyone says everyone when you comment they say well, does anything happen after the credits? What happens after the credits? No one's Easter eggs. Uh, but it's that there's Easter eggs if if you are if you only watch the films yeah. and you watch that I post mean, credits yeah. Yeah. they're like to me an Easter egg is something that you are totally gonna miss like if you don't know what you're watching you're gonna be like oh that's cool like the Thor one to me there's a lot in that one yes. that you're like what? Right, is that your favorite is Thor is Thor your favorite Thor is my favorite there's I, it, like when you were like what's your worst one I'm like none of them are bad right because well, they're always yeah, fun. Well, because there was, there but was there wasn't one. Man of Steel was like Easter. That was like Passover. Well, my I I liked I liked the <laughs> Thor one very much, and I, and like we said, yeah, it, it furthers the universe. Uh huh. The wo- oh Wolverine crap balls. Yeah, it was like the Wolverine, Wolverine one was amazing. Hands down, because I love 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 love. I know a lot of people out there. Here's the thing, real quick. So we didn't really talk about this yet, Mark. The, the uh, in our X Men yeah. in our X Men first uh, X Men Days of Future Past trailer review, we didn't. The, the thing is. A lot of people had a problem with the music in in the trailer, and what they don't realize is that originally that trailer was set to Hans Zimmer's score of Time from which, Inception, from Inception, which worked brilliantly. They had to change it because Warner Brothers wouldn't give them the rights. But now, is this music that's in the it's teaser? It's a mixture. It's a mixture of stuff. And so that's not the actual score that's being used in the film. No, 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 no. There's a mixture of, of different movies. Uh, there's there's a little bit of the Thin Red Line in there. There's a bunch of different. Really? Movies. Yeah. How often does that does that it, go it's on? A lot. A lot. Um, really? But, but I again that I that's something new every However, day. I hang out we, with that we, guy. We go we go off track. So the, the thing is that what that <laughs> we go off track. Yeah. What that Wolverine? <laughs> what that Wolverine uh, post credit scene did was yeah. Really? Oh, okay. This is what we're in for in yeah. Days of Future Past, and I was like. Sign me up. I'm ready to go. Yeah, it, well, it's tough for me to pick which which ones I like. It's definitely going to be between Wolverine and yeah. Thor. Uh, Thor was so new to me, and it kind of you know opened my eyes. I felt like a little uh, a little babe watching for the first time, and and I'm in this whole new world now. Yeah. However, my complaint about X Men First Class mm-hmm. was that we got the X-Men JV, we got the oh, Junior Varsity okay. Mutants, yeah. and then seeing the Wolverine as a standalone picture, which I really liked, and then seeing mm-hmm. what happens at the end of that, and saying, hey, we're getting the band back together. I'm the franchise kind of guy, so I think I'd have to go with that just a smidgen over what I saw in Thor. Yeah. Okay, great. All right. So now, well, now we get let's you know, let's hold off real quick. What we're gonna do is now we're gonna talk about uh, what you are most excited for. What's coming up in the universe of the comic book movies? It can be it can be something that comes out next year. It can be in 2015, 2016. <laughs> really? We anything. Can, oh, it's like shit. what what are you yeah, looking that forward things. to? Yeah. yeah. What are you looking forward to in the comic book world? Everybody will have their say. We'll bring in we'll bring in some of the ringers. So think about it. What is it that you're really excited for? We have Schmoville. So much. I want you guys to call in. We'll start with Schmoville. 323-622-8623. Out of everything that you guys will start us on our topic. Of everything that's coming out, things that you've heard about, that you're excited about, what are you excited about? What are you looking forward to? Hey, you're in Schmoville. Who do we got? Hey guys, it's Alex. Alex, what's up, Hi. man? So out of all the stuff, all the superhero movies that that are going to be coming out over the next couple of years, it could be Phase Two, it could be Phase Three, it could be something not even in the Marvel universe. What superhero movies are you really looking forward to, and why? Uh, I think the Man of Steel sequel. Okay, how come? Um, because I think that, and I mean, like, I understand people's problems with Man of Steel. Okay. I understand it completely. I think that the ending of Man of Steel was like the first time I'd ever seen. Superman 
like completely the way I always pictured him right. on screen. And right. I can't wait to see him just completely Superman in the next movie. Okay, it's well, going to be great. Thank you, Alex. All right, so I mean, I think that obviously from all the internet buzz and everything that's going on, Man of Steel two. AKA Batman vs Superman is a very highly anticipated movie. People, for the most part, want to see it. Uh -huh. um, let's get the Copster man in here. Let's see what the Copster. Copster, what Whoa. are you most anticipated for? for the intern. Yeah, I want to see Wowzers. what are you looking forward to. I'm That's really tough after seeing the Captain America trailer. Yeah, I mean, but Guardians of the Galaxy. You have a raccoon that shoots a machine gun or a shotgun, or whatever. it yeah. is. I mean, <laughs> it, That's it really so doesn't cool. matter. It doesn't yeah, matter. It doesn't matter. Something. Right. That's, that has awesome written all over it. So I mean, that to me, I saw like the leaked footage. It was really rough, but yeah. that looked pretty cool. You know what's interesting about Copster's choice is that last week uh, for the Halloween show, yeah. we played horror movie The Game, yeah. and I thought I was going to win, and he kicked the shit out what of me. What are you going to do yeah. if he wins the celebrity impression dating game too? Oh, he can. I, I don't do good impressions, so he can have that. What I'm Rogan was pretty good. What I'm saying yeah. is that he comes on the mic now, and I'm thinking, oh good. We can relax. We're just talking movies. He took my pick again. <laughs> you guys are you guys are gonna have like a feud here. Soon. We're either gonna be a feud, it's either gonna be a feud or we're gonna be best friends. Oh, well, yeah, bunk so. beds, buddy. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. I get the top bunk. I'm gonna start watching more uh, red skit red sin. Well, <laughs> and no, the friendship's it, over. over. Oh yeah. By the way, I put I put Thor two down to number five of my favorite superhero films because I hate ball, all Vikings. The Vikings beat the Redskins tonight. Oh, um, so. I'm actually gonna say Mine. that uh, I think I'm most looking forward to Guardians of the Galaxy two. And I just said I'm a franchise guy and I can't mm -hmm. wait to see X Men Days of Future Past. But it's some point I'm, I'm a little tired of knowing everybody on screen I'm yeah. a little tired of knowing okay that's Thor that's his beat that's Loki he's a trickster he's I know who Superman is I know who Batman is yeah. I know these yeah. people Guardians of the Galaxy just from that little footage I saw and I'll tell you what from just watching the upcoming film Delivery Man which we can't really talk about yet yeah. but Chris Pratt is Vince Vaughn's kind of schlubby buddy in that. Just seeing his comic timing yeah. and seeing how that guy carries himself on screen, I can't wait to see that dude play an interstellar bounty hunter. He could be the next. Get ready for it, Han Solo. All right, now for me, I'm going to say one, then I want to talk to Tiffany about some big news that came out today that I know you're anticipating. So let's talk for me, my the one I'm looking for the most, as much as I want to see Avengers 2 and Age of Ultron, I really do want to see that very much because I'm excited. X Men: Days of Future Past, yeah. hands down, it's exactly what I want. Yeah, um, it's I, the least surprising thing uh, that happened on the podcast. Is it so me far. picking? I guess you're yeah. so excited I'm about so, it. I was so. I mean, look, the thing was too when I saw that. Tra I was at the Comic Con pa uh, panel, and I was looking when forward. Everybody came out, and I was looking forward to the Marvel more than anything. Yeah. And then they showed that trailer, and again, maybe they got because I'm a big Inception guy, and when they played their trailer, that music, you had me from the start. They could have played a then, snuff film, and you would have been excited. Maybe, but but the, but it was everything that. It was the tone of it and the fact that they merged together um, first class, which I loved. It's, one, it's yeah. one of my favorite superhero movies of all time. I got a question for yeah. you. So, so when we saw Wolverine, right, yeah. and then they had that Easter egg at the end, uh -huh. and I'm getting tired of Post saying credit. Easter egg yeah. too. Uh, is, did you had you already seen that? No, you hadn't seen I any knew, of that. Stuff. I knew it was coming. Yeah. I knew something was coming of that nature. I think uh, Tiffany had told me that the this, the scenes were awesome, so that that I was ready for it. <laughs> she so didn't ruin it for you. No, she didn't ruin it for no. me. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's it. All right, now, Tiffany, what's the news that came? We didn't talk about this in the news segment because we wanted to hold it yeah. off for now. Um, tell so, us the news, and then okay. tell us how you, excited you are for this news. So big. But say like a newsboy in, yeah. in 1920s. And Riley, actually, get on the mic for this one, too, because I know you have a strong opinion. <laughs> extra, extra. So I know we got about five there was minutes, a big right? announcement this morning, guys, if you <laughs> went minute? on the Twitter. All, right. All right, we got <laughs> it. Let's, let's do it, let's do it quick. Fine. We have about a minute. Um, Hurry up. Yeah. That Marvel and Netflix have partnered up and they're doing a, there's three, no, four, four. different series that they're doing that are going to roll out and 13 episodes of each of them and they're all going to culminate with the Defenders. Yeah. Um, and What's this that is, mean? What does that mean for people who aren't familiar with comics? It's just that, I mean, they're taking, it's. It's basically like they're doing what the CW has done with characters where they're going to develop a series what, around cool? around one character who may not be as well known or who may have flopped in a film. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. the four that they're doing, I mean, they're doing Daredevil, they're doing Jessica Jones, they're doing Iron Fist and Luke Cage. Yep. Wow. And and the, the, what, what's they're the doing? Daredevil. The Defenders, yeah. right? No, like, yeah. Daredevil was supposed to be like rated R. Are they yeah. Gonna, are they going to be able to do it? I, I think they will. And what I'm okay. hearing is that it that Daredevil is going to be like a hard R and like show the gritty Hell's Kitchen. And You'd that's what Iron I want. Fist would be the hard R. Wow. Well, all right. Well, there there you go. I all get right, guys, that. I guys, get we gotta, that. We got to wrap it up. We're going to come back. <laughs> We're going to come back in about two minutes, and we're going to play the Celebrity Impression Dating Game. That was Superhero Movies 2013. Schmoes in the Movies. Thank you, Tiffany, Mark, Christian. We'll be back with Christian Petrie. Cannot wait. Celebrity Impression Dating Game. You're listening to the Toad Hop Network. 
Radio worth watching. What's up, Toad Heads? Hey, make sure you check out the Toad Hop store on toadhopnetwork.com. It's a great way to support the network and helps continue to bring you quality programming. Quality programming, my ass. Can you see I'm recording you? Oh! So maybe you've got a great idea for a business and want to start selling your products or services online. Maybe you're an established business owner looking for new customers. Or maybe you're interested in starting a personal website. No matter who you are, GoDaddy wants to help you kick ass online. Right now, GoDaddy is offering .com domains for just $1.99. It's go time. Start your website today. Visit GoDaddy.com and enter promo code TOAD to get your $1.99.com or click on the GoDaddy graphic on the ToadHop website. Some limitations apply. See website for details. What's up, everyone? Sports Guru here. Sick of looking at the same old boring websites? Well, check out the new SportsGuru.com for all the hottest training videos and all the biggest sports news. Become a VIP for only $4.99 and get premium access to everything the Sports Guru has to offer. The beautiful Gurus Girls, all my biggest sports picks, and much more. So get off that porn site and check out the new SportsGuru.com. Is that hunk of junk you call a car always breaking down and leaving you in the dust? Log on to Dyson-Motors.com and check out Dyson's full inventory online. With hundreds of quality cars in stock of all makes and models, you can find the next car of your dreams in minutes. And know you're getting super low pricing. Purchase a car today from Dyson Motors and receive a year of free oil changes. Bad credit? Worried about financing? Log on and get pre-approved in seconds. Go to Dyson-Motors.com and find your new car today. To leave your house to shop, to crawl through traffic to the mall, just to find the thing you wanted, isn't even there at all. Amazon.com is the answer. Shop at home and style and ease. Find exactly what you want. Ordering your stuff's free. Books on tape, games galore, everything you're looking for. Kindle, cameras, electronics, baby Einstein, hooked on phonics, Blu-ray, movies, and TV, download, music, MP3, Pixar, Disney, microphone, pet supplies, and doggy bones, World of Warcraft, Nancy Drew, Sims, the Scruff, Sishtim too. Click Amazon. You'll smile with glee. Sometimes shipping is even free. With Gamefly, choose from over 6,000 titles. Play as long as you want and send them back when you're done. Eight ninety five to start, no late fees. Gamefly.com. Games delivered. You're listening to the Toad Hop Network. Radio worth watching. I did this on purpose. I got this. This is uh, Fern Gully 3. It is not. Back to the Rainforest. Nah. <laughs> Soundtrack by Sting. I believe it's Iron Man 3. Is it really? No. I believe it's the Wolverine. You cheated. Johnny Ice cheat? just told you the answer. I, I literally watched it happen. I think it's my favorite score, and I don't even know what it is. Hold yeah. on. I just have to say this because I'm still really excited about the Marvel thing, and yeah. I just saw this on Twitter, that apparently got? they're saying that the Netflix and Marvel and Disney partnership yeah. could possibly lead into films as well. Yeah, that's what I heard too. That's amazing. Like, oh, that'd be cool. I, I have one it. thing to say: make it better than Agents of Shield. Christian, you had something yes, to say. I do have something to say. Before <laughs> before we get into our, uh, we don't, I want to introduce our guests. But before we do that, I wanted to. There's something really exciting here. Like last time, actually, not, uh, two times ago when we played the Celebrity Depression dating game, uh-huh. we had camera crews in here, and yeah. we had, and they taped the entire show. And that now we can say we couldn't tell them for a long time. That was for the network E E Entertainment E with here. an exclamation point. That's right. <laughs> and they were here taping our show. <laughs> And the name of the show is The Drama Queen, and that it's based off of our manager. It's about Christian. It's about me. It's about the Drama it's about Queen. Me. I no, actually it's, have it's, a, I, oh, that's all I do is I have fits for the first <laughs> half an hour. I kick things and break stuff. Um, but it is about our manager, Marky Costello. It debuts on E at November 17th. Mm-hmm. Now, what we're going to do with Schmoville, that E basically said they want to see – like Schmoville, do they are they really listening? Like, yeah, Schmoville is listening. They're doing their thing. It's like how I, outsiders look at like Boise, Idaho. Like, right. yeah, can you really draw a crowd? What? Who is Schmoville? Like, yeah, well, we're gonna show you who Schmoville is. So on on when our episode, we're December first. Okay, we're gonna have a big contest for Schmoville to where you guys are gonna live tweet and we're gonna be giving away a lot of stuff for the the best tweets out there, a mm-hmm. bunch of different stuff. And we again, we just need the Schmoville support. We'll have all the links on Facebook and Twitter. So just again, set your DVRs for the Drama Queen. It's it debuts November seventeenth. On E at that eleven episode, o'clock. Yeah, that episode. It's not just us eating pudding. I mean, there's some weird, there's some shit fun that went stuff. Down All right, episode, and then yeah. the other thing I want to talk about is Mark. Mark Ellis right. is a very, as we found out tonight, a very funny, funny dude. Uh, it's and a good what? laugh we had tonight. Good it was laugh. a good laugh. And so he is. A lot of times when he is out, and last time Christian was here, our guest who will introduce very, very soon. Mark was not here because he was out performing, which good. he often does. 
Mark, you're going to be performing again next week, correct? Next weekend at the uh, Tampa Improv. It's uh, me and my good buddy John Caparulo. Are Who's been be on there. the show before. Uh, that's right. Yeah. And then uh, then a couple weeks from there, I'm in St. Louis. And then wrapping up right before Christmas, I'm in Cleveland at Hilarities. But yeah, this next weekend, Tampa Improv. I know Tyler Myers lives there. You don't have to go, Tyler. But I'm just letting you know, I'm going to be right. around my that. My brother might go, too. So, and, and real quick, so there's some other places that you're going to be going. So the Schmoville will know real quick. Uh, St. You... Louis, again, where I had the best. It's, it's, it's a dish called Pizza Nachos. Okay. When... And it lived up. To All its right. billing. And when, when are you going to be there? <laughs> Just tell people where uh, you're going yeah, to be, gonna not be where there. you're going to be eating. December fifth through seventh in St. Louis. And then, sign uh, your nachos. Cleveland Hilarities. Eat your I do not autograph food that I'm about to eat. Nachos. Cleveland right. Hilarities, nineteenth through the twenty second. All right. So that's Mark Ellis. Make sure you check him out. It is very very funny. My brother's going to go see him hopefully in yep. Tampa as it's well. All Tiffany dad jokes. All right. So <laughs> Mark Mark Riley. Actually, I will not be attending <laughs> Mark, in no way shape or form. Mark yeah. Riley just posted on facebook.com slash no and Twitter. Uh, who you think is going to win the Celebrity Impression Dating Game. And you cannot have a Celebrity Impression Dating Game without a Bachelorette joining us because she said she would last time she was here. She was a great guest. We loved having her in studio. Gary Busey's favorite actress. That would be Christian Petrie. <laughs> yeah. How are you, Christian? Hey, doing good. Thank you for nice Our Bachelorette is here. First of all, Christian, so what's been going on? What's new? How is everything going? Um, everything's been going really good. It's been an adventure the past little while. The movie's out on uh, DVD uh, everywhere. Now, what's Walmart, this picture you talk about? Yeah, because Mark I wasn't well, here see, last time. If you've been here last time, right? then you would know. Uh, I wasn't, I wouldn't have to be honest, school, Christian, I wasn't even on the road. I'm just really shy. I was in my apartment <laughs> reading a Jack London novel and could not be bothered. What got you out tonight? What is that in that class? <laughs> it's, it's a little thing called Magic Hat. <laughs> hey, cheers so, to you. Cheers, baby. Hey, Mark had so questions for you. You have a, uh, Christian, you got to interview her last time. Sorry. This is my time to talk to her. Now, you were here on the podcast, and some stuff went down between Christian and then there were some other uh, women well, that, that oh maybe God. one may describe as batshit crazy were here <laughs> or were being bandied about. I so think, well, I, I wasn't keep, here either, so. I keep hearing about how crazy it was, but I, I didn't find it to be that crazy. But nice. I didn't have any expectations going in, so I might be disappointed tonight or bored. Okay, Whoa. good. It's not as cool as it was last oh, time. Oh, don't worry. Call yeah. Bonnie quick. When you play the celebrity dating game, it is many things, but it is never, <laughs> ever boring. Before we get to the game, what what is this DVD that you're hawking? Where can I see it? Where can uh, I watch it? Bounty Killer is the name of the movie. It's um, wherever. It. Walmart, Best Buy, Redbox, wherever you want to go find a movie. Did nowadays. you wind up going dressed as, what did you go dressed as Halloween? I didn't, I didn't do you didn't anything, do it, Mary Death. My thing was I didn't want to be scantily clad and I did not want to be covered in blood. I'm ah. tired of it. So Been um, there, done that? Yeah. 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 Okay. It, it I death. ended up scantily clad anyway, though, because my husband insisted on it. So. Well, uh, good for him. Okay. So the let's, character's name is Mary Death. Mary, Mary Death. Death. Oh yeah. He, you, 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 you got to watch that interview again. Oh, too. She that's kill somebody fantastic. with a shoe. It's amazing. Kill somebody with a shoe? I do. Right. Spoiler alert. Yeah, more sorry. than once. All right. So let's get into this. The celebrity <laughs> impression dating game. <laughs> Now, the way this wow. works for Schmobile, if you're first tuning in, you've never seen the Celebrity Impression Dating Game, Christian will be our bachelorette. She will turn around. She will have questions. There'll be four rounds where she will eliminate people, and we will all do impressions. We have to answer the person, the, the answer the questions as that celebrity, and then she decides who she wants to keep around based on the impression. That's right. Some, Some people, people look really nervous. Yeah, it, it becomes They're very- stretching right very now. very competitive. Well, here. also, <laughs> when, a, when a hot chick that can kill you with her shoe comes yeah, in yeah, the yeah, studio, yeah. people get a little- I'm tight. not here to kill anyone. Right. I'm well, here, here to find my best. Here's bachelor. what we're going to do. You're going to fall in love tonight with one of the, these celebrities, Good. and you're going to turn around. You're not going to be able to see who's doing it. You're going to hear the voice of either me or Christian in our real tone <laughs> announcing the action, Right. but we are going to be doing impressions, too. Good. So even Tiffany is going to do an impression. Hey, Won't that be cute? I, hate, at least the I heard you're Wicked Witch of the West impression. <laughs> <laughs> that was my best one. Was yeah. That was my best one. <laughs> but who wants to date the Wicked Witch? That's right. right. I like so you the keep them around, Christian. Look, some of them might be bad, but it's it's about some commitment and it's about commitment sometimes it's about if you like the answer it's really it all depends on you and how you sure. want to keep them around all right so without any further ado let us start the sixth episode are we that old of already the celebrity yeah. dating okay. still, now, all right. uh, uh, you you have to turn around, have to turn around. Right. Make, make sure that you can't see everyone Christian Harloff's she light. will be question. using yeah. my yeah. Yeah. yeah she has her own question yeah now we'll be using what our I, how do I get to my microphone you, you have the microphone you're, yeah. you're right there so yeah. you I'll, can go ahead and ask whatever question you want to ask first and then the uh the contestants will answer as your back is turned so what do you want to ask just to get to know them a little bit. All right, so contestant number one. Well, she has to. I know. To ask the Bachelorette question. will yeah. be asking you a question. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> so I just asked the question now. I just ask it to the room. Great. Okay, so my first question her, is. Oh, her. oh. Well. Now she saw me. <laughs> she can ask <laughs> the question and right, then. Look, I was told to speak directly into the microphone. We'll move the mic. 
Okay, great. Thank you. you yes. <laughs> All right. I do here we go. Let's get somebody else. Here. Okay, so question number one. Um, since I have my mom with me only for tonight, um, bachelors, if you, uh, oh, and one bachelorette. <laughs> if you were going to impress my mother the first night that you picked me up for our first date, what would you do? Okay. Close those eyes now. Okay. They're closed. And at number one, our first contestant, what would you do to impress her mom when you pick her up? And remember to say your name so she knows who you are. <laughs> hey, Christian. It's me, Al Pacino. I'll tell you what. Uh, I like moms. I like daughters. <laughs> I bring your mother some flowers, and I take you to a football game, because every inch, every yard, it's what counts, and every given Sunday, ooh-ah, you got a great set of eyes there. Contestant number <laughs> two. Christian Petrie, this is the ultimate warrior. And I would take... The rocket ship to the moon to show your mother that the warriors <laughs> would care for you. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, Christian, it's your old pal Jack here. Oh, would I take your mom to do sweetie pants? <laughs> I don't know. I just know we'd have a good time. What do you want to do? Go to a Laker game and maybe just get a little boozed up and chase around a hound dog. Who knows? <laughs> Contestant number five. Uh, hi, it's uh, Woody Allen. Uh, how you doing? Um, well, first of all, you're, you're a daughter to your mother, so I'm already interested. Uh, we might have to get a legal contract. I've had history with that before. Uh, so we might have to get some lawyers involved. But I can't wait to date you. <laughs> Sorry, this is contestant number five. Well, I would take you to the happiest place on earth. Who and are we you? go on rides. My name's Mickey Mouse, huh? <laughs> contestant number six. Oh my god, Christian, how you doing? It's Harvey Firestein. <laughs> Oh my god, your mom is so cute, she's a doll. I'm not sexually attracted to either one of you, so you know I won't try to touch your hoo-hahs and jelly. I just want to hang out for a little bit. David, there's aliens! Contestant number seven. Hey, how you doing, uh, Christian? I'm John Travolta, I'm a phenomenon. I could bend things with my mind like a pencil. So I take that pencil to your mom's house and write her a love note. Oh, what's the matter with me? What's the matter with you? <laughs> and our final contestant, contestant number eight. Hello, Christian. This is Roz from Monsters, Inc. If I were... <laughs> if I were to impress your mother, I would take her to Monsters, Inc. on a nice tour. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that is your first wow. round of the wow. celebrity impression dating game. Wow. Can I open it, it, my it, eyes? Yeah, you can. You can open your eyes right now. All right. So now you you, was, you, uh, elimi you eliminate man. you eliminate three people this round because there's eight of us. Three, three people. Three people because there's eight of us. Yeah, and I got to be honest with you, Christian. Yeah. I don't know who's getting eliminated, but a lot of those should be eliminated. There's a yeah, lot yeah, there's of bad I, ones. Really bad ones. I, Nobody brought I their egg. I so many though. All right. Who, who kept a list of all of these names? Did you? Yeah, we have. We okay. Good. I can tell you. So here. I'll, I'll now, give her the rundown right say. now. Let me, uh, okay, right. okay, now, Christian, you can keep or you can vote off <laughs> any one of the following. Okay. Al Pacino, the ultimate warrior. Jack Nicholson, not Jack oh. Nicholas, you fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 Nobody brought a six eye into the game. Mickey Mouse, Harvey Firestein, John Travolta, Roz, or Woody Allen. You can cut three. Mm -hmm. I can cut three. Three. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to start with Woody Allen. Bye-bye, Woody. I'm sorry. Bye-bye, <laughs> Josh the oh, Intern. Woody oh. Allen. Just for, oh, no, Josh the Intern. Oh, <laughs> man. This means you have talent. 
Okay. He's, he's not you can well, always go back I, to Soon Yi, Woody. Okay. There were people screaming for Josh Yinton to get off the microphone. I so also um, have a very dear friend of mine who has children with you, Al Pacino, so I've got to get you out of my dating game. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. He has not oh, got to pass the first round in weeks. Since that rule to I Al Pacino, Josh I do love Josh you. It just is, is it's too close to home, oh, man. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't know. And then I. <laughs> and who is the last one? Who is the last cut? And then uh, I'm I'm gonna have to say the ultimate warrior. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't beat me up for my choices. You're no, yelling no, at me, man. I feel like I'm in no. trouble when I get yelled actually, at. You're doing a great, doing job. Doing a great okay. job. If the three guys just got eliminated actually brought that kind of effort and That's intensity exactly to their right. impressions, That's exactly right. then maybe they'd still be hanging around. All but right. now we are about to go to round two. So great. the question for you is the question for the bachelors. Now, yeah. what do you want to ask them in round two? And you know, for the next round, you can open your eyes, but I don't don't look at the contestants that way too. So you don't know. I who think I think you got to keep them closed. You yeah. got to keep them closed for everything. Yeah. All right, all right, yeah. all right. Let's <laughs> that for the, so she knows. You now. can't right, be so changing round, the rules. Round maybe. number two. Round number two. You can turn it around and close okay. your eyes. Here we go. All right. Question number two. So it's a pretty easy question, but a pretty important one to me. Um, what do you prefer, dogs or cats? What do you prefer, dogs or ca cat cats? <laughs> as a pet, not as a food. As a or pet, not as a like lover. Any yes, exactly. Well, I'd have to pick a dog because a cat might eat me. <laughs> <laughs> what would I pick? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Contestant number three. Well, what would I pick? I can't even pick if it's a dog or a cat, because <laughs> I'm I'm going I'm leaving this round. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I failed. I failed. <laughs> dog or cat? I've got to tell you, baby. I enjoy a good pussy cat. <laughs> <laughs> Can, I don't know. I'm done. I feel like I'm talking to Busey. Can, Contestant number three. Oh my god, I hate cats so much. They're such assholes. They never say hi when I come home. I want a dog. I want something to hump my leg, preferably a male, something small like a shit. So, oh my god, there's aliens. And finally, oh no, no, there's two more. Contestant number four. Well, that's an easy one for me, you know, honey, because I'm a dog lover. I have about 37 of them, all different breeds that I rescued. That's right, baby. What's the matter with me? What's the matter with you? Test at number five. Well, considering I ate it. <laughs> well, considering. <laughs> Cats. <laughs> all right. Wow. So, all right, Christian, you can you, oh, don't turn around. Don't turn okay, around. Don't you can open you your eyes. Just don't okay. turn around. So, who, so you can eliminate. Now you eliminate two. You can eliminate Jack Nicholson. You can eliminate Roz. You can eliminate Mickey Mouse. And you can eliminate Harvey Firestein or John Travolta. There's two you can get rid of. Um, wait, say those choices. That's fine. <laughs> Here you go. You, you can yeah. eliminate what? Jack Nicholson. Jack Mickey Nicholson. Mouse. Wait, you said that as, as if I should do it. I would like you to. What? <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you can eliminate. I only want to because I'm so disappointed that Busey is not here today. Oh. <laughs> you knew I was coming. All right. I'm going to get rid of Jack Nicholson just because. Oh, Jack's gone. I feel very sad that it's wow. not Busey. That's an upset. So you got Mickey Mouse, Harvey Firestein, John Travolta, and Roz. Um, Final cut for this You round. know, I, I I love you, Mickey Mouse, but I don't uh, really think that you and I have that much in common or mm, that it would work. She made it far. Past All right. tonight. And the plot right. thickens. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now Kristen's left with two gay guys and a monster. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here so here we go. So <laughs> Harvey Firestein's the monster. Second to last round. Contestant number one. Wait, we need a question before. Oh, that. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, still, still reeling from the fact that Gary does, Busey is on Mars. Oh, right? that's just that does Busey want to come yeah. up with this question so, for uh, me? It is sure. it's now your turn to ask the question for the uh, very selective yeah. round number three. <laughs> uh, so, um, bachelors that are left, what color best describes your personality? Here we go, contestant number one. What color this guy's my? I, I, it could be brown. It could be. It's pink. It's fucking pink. It's bright, <laughs> bright, flaming, explodo, gay pink. All right. 
contestant number two. Oh, geez, that's an easy one. It's purple. It goes with everything. All right. <laughs> contestant number three. The skin of my color, which is shit yellow. That's probably the one. <laughs> All right, there you go. So now you eliminate one person to get to the finals. You eliminate John Travolta, Harvey Firestein, or Roz from no, Monsters. No, shit Inc. yellow is not okay. <laughs> that's, that's not an okay so color. Ro yellow. Roz is going? Roz is gone. Is Roz and gone? I'm sorry, Roz. Oh, Roz is gone. Well, I'll tell you what. The, but Cobster the intern actually stuck around for a while. Uh, all right, so our final. Guys, I just want to say people did tweet in saying that they thought I might win. I know. Oh, uh, I should. Our Here's our here's our finals uh, between Harvey, Harvey Firestein and John Travolta. Yeah, Christian definitely wants somebody that's not going to try anything on her. Okay, so what um, is the question <laughs> that is going to separate the men from the boys here? Well, that's a good question in itself. Thank you. So. Here's the deal. You're driving and you get lost. What do you do? How do you handle it? Contestant number one. Oh, my God. You mean after flailing and crying uncontrollably for about 20 minutes? <laughs> uh, I hit OnStar because my car's equipped with an OnStar. I asked that very nice voiced young man, where am I? And then he bails me out, and then we go off onto a fabulous cruise ship. All right. <laughs> Contestant number two. Oh, geez, I haven't been lost in so long, but you know I'm a pilot and all because I'm a phenomenon. -a -num -a -num. <laughs> I, uh, for this, I always refer to the lady because they're, they're better with directions. <laughs> you saw me. I flew a car into the air. I mean, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> all right. So that's it. All right, Christian, you can turn around now. Now, who? Uh, here you go. So now this is a very big decision. God, yeah, that's tough. You're you're the bachelorette, and you can choose who the winner is. Was it Harvey Firestein or John Travolta? Um, okay, well. And your reason why? I, I do agree with John Travolta. You do always go to the lady, but I just believe that Harvey would be interesting for so long. Wow. That um that might last a little bit longer. So, so it, yeah, yeah, it is. Mark. Oh, oh, my God, <laughs> Oh my God. I just want to keep hearing David, you talk. David, David. <laughs> okay, I, I, I tell you a true story. I knew that we were doing the celebrity impression dating game. I had a hell of a day. I get home for about top five minutes, right? Before I put on the <laughs> NFL game, I turn on and HBO is on and it's Independence Day. Not only is it Independence uh, Day, it's the scene where Harvey Firestein is filling out to David, David, the aliens. We got to get to the bunker. And, and you knew, you knew. And I yeah, knew. Actually, I was going to go I was gonna go into battle with Woody Allen. Oh, were and you? And then the, the intern, Stole he snake Nicholson so he from you last title. time. He, he snake Woody Allen for me tonight. Uh, and I ended up putting in Frank Wright, the backup, and he came through for me. Just correct I cannot yourself. wait to go on a date with you. <laughs> oh, next time you return, I will be here. <laughs> please. Uncourting. Please, Gary. Gary, it's not your show. Uh, Jack uh, it, it was terrible, Jack. <laughs> uh, not as bad as JTI's, but pretty bad. Uh, Christian, thank you so much for joining us. A great bachelorette. We will put this up on YouTube tomorrow. YouTube.com slash schmoes no. And the uh, the movie is uh, Bounty Killer. Yep. Yay. That's correct. Bounty Killer, so you can see Christian just kick a lot of ass, and it's available everywhere. You can go to your you Walmart. You haven't seen it. No, uh, I can't wait to see it, and I'm going to red box it tonight and check out Christian at Christian Petrie underscore at Twitter and you guys will have we'll have you back again for sure uh, it was nice to see you again thank you for joining us thank Tiffany you Smith me. check out Tiffany at DC all, uh, all access yep, and yep, Mark Ellis is going to be on the road next week oh my god Tampa. he's so funny so funny as you saw that definitely is, see Mark the, in Tampa the champion of the uh, Celebrity Russian dating game for the whole crew I don't know we got like four minutes left yeah oh, man, look at that I want to talk to Christian off. a little bit more yeah. about what, Wait, what do you get a prize does he get something uh I usually get to make out with he who picked me. No, 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 no not tonight. Oh, is that not? That's not part of the. <laughs> when we we said when you win, that goes away. Yeah, that was the rule. You know what's uh, funny uh, is yeah, that yeah, we yeah. we had an old rule where the contestant would just look at everybody, do their impressions, and yeah. then we had to change it because Josh McCoo won the first I mean, two. Well, look at that face. He's just too handsome. How do you yeah. not it's fall true. in love it's with true. that? Handsome's yeah. a strong word. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, I'd say like wedding good looking. Yeah. Wedding good looking. Yeah. yeah. Well, he looks like a nine year old that just built a fort and doesn't want to tell the mom about it. Funny. What does that even mean? But the funny thing, he gets he gets laid at a lot of weddings. Uh, the first thing, the, the first thing that <laughs> That's happened. That's a thing, though, I guess. It is. No, it, it's easy. I'm wedding good looking. There's not as much competition. Girls get drunk. I'm the last. That's what guy I just said. Wedding good looking. Oh, yeah. Josh, do you remember? Okay. Josh, what year was it? The last time you went to a wedding and didn't get laid. Do you remember that? 
Uh, I was 18 in 2000, so before that. Okay. All right. So what happened after we made the after we made the uh, Bachelor turn around? He's gotten eliminated in the first round every every time now. So. Yeah. Because his well, impressions. I gotta, tell you, I gotta tell you though, your Pacino was one of your better ones. That no, you've ever I, I did like Pacino. I hated to eliminate him like that. But, but you just, just had to on stand. Yeah. I, I, I three wanna, people have to go the first round. Right. I want to ask you about the dogs and cats thing. Do you have a proclivity towards one animal or I the other? I cannot stand cats, man. That's okay. I think that's what. Like, Sealed it for mm. Harvey Firestein. Yeah. And, yeah. and Piss Yellow killed it for Ross. Uh, no, it for was Ross. Come on, Ross. Yellow. Poop yellow. It was, Shit poop? Yellow. Shit Yellow. Whose poop is yellow? Uh, Babies. So what killed it for New John Travolta? <laughs> what, why did John Travolta ultimately get eliminated? Oh, I just Can't found Harvey him. so much more interesting. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah, he's a little, he's Kill a little shady, shady but yeah. kind of interesting. I feel like you never get a straight answer out of Travolta. That's not a <laughs> bunch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, like Harvey Firestein will tell you the dirtiest things he's ever done in the craziest stories. Exactly. Travolta will be like, ah, you know, this stuff happened. Right. That's it. Yeah, Alice, you're a lot better at those than you think. Um, <laughs> I, I, this was a weak field tonight. It was good. It, it, I won a weak year, but uh, I'll take the victory. I'm sorry. My Mickey Mouse was pretty good. Well, it, was, what, it was pretty great. What we're going to do eventually, what yeah. we'll do eventually is do an all-star. That's oh, so Harvey yeah, versus God. Gary Busey. Uh, versus uh, Yodi versus yeah. uh, John who does Lovitz, Yodi? Barbara Walters. Yodi is... Uh, you, you, first of all, here's a question for you. You know who Yoda is, right? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. That's so all it's, I need it's, to it's a long story, but yeah. uh, Mark Rowley does an impression of Yoda. The young lady who's sitting in your seat wasn't as familiar, so she thought it was called Yodi, and so she actually <laughs> voted Yodi and that's his nickname. as the winner. <laughs> and he's Guys, a, let's just go enough. back to the is fact really that the intern nickname? called him Dolph Is it really your nickname? Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren is We should we should call JTI Lundgren. For Lundgren. Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask, can I ask yeah. Christian one more thing? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, you got to see us Which in the Christian studio make specified. jackasses out of right. ourselves. But yeah. you, do you do any impressions? Is there anything yeah. you oh, like nice. to, no. male no. or female? Uh, There's <laughs> none whatsoever. Who? I don't. Huh? Big mouth. This is oh, a big mouth. No, what mother, is, you didn't. What did you uh, say? Big mouth. No, 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 no. I love no, your mom no, already. No, 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 no. Mom just, your mom just threw you under the bus. But wait, 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 wait. They asked specifically, do you do impressions? Big mouth is not an impression. It's when a you character? have a child, when you have a child, and she makes you play a lot of characters. Yeah. Um, oh, it's a character. And she's do. one Barbie, and you're like 14. You ah, have to come okay. up with some people. I got it. Oh my all God, right, I love right, it. I We're going to kill people with our shoes together. All right, guys. Yes, got, all right, so are. signing off again at Schmozno, Facebook.com slash Schmozno, Schmozno.com, at Tiffany's Tweets. Uh, the whole crew, make sure you check out Ellis if you're in the Tampa area next week. And it was a lot of fun tonight, guys. Superhero <laughs> movies, check us all out. And thanks for your support, Schmoville, on everything we do. Thank you guys for kicking ass online, on Twitter, on our Facebook page, at the website for us. We really appreciate it. Drama Queen Woo! on November. 17th. Peace out, Mother F's. You're listening to the Toad Hop Network, radio worth watching.